Hello everybody and welcome back to Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It's been a little while, but there is a new update that has just been released. And the developers have given me early access so that we can make content for you. So thank you to the developer. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, basically... Let's just go over some of the things that uh, they have told me are part of this update, shall we? First of all, the in-game time is fully extended for the whole turbulent period between 1914 and 1934. That means we've gone from a two-year taste test to a 20-year campaign. Oh yeah. We gonna have some fun. You will have 20 years to explore and employ over 60 World War I technologies to create unique tank designs and shape your own story of the tank. The game fe will feature parts and components of 12 World War I tanks, including three from France, three from Germany, All right, the game will feature parts and components from 12 World War I tanks, including three from France and three from Germany. So plenty of options to create hybrid designs, which let's be honest, we're going to. You can now win over two types of military contracts, supply and restock, yielding some additional requirements in the contract. From over 20 countries, and observe how your tanks literally change both history as well as the world map. Your tanks will be battle tested in different environments including Europe, the Balkans, the Middle East, and even the whole of Africa. Your tanks will face not only other tanks, but also various opponents ranging from infantry to armored trains and armored cars. We have spent an extra effort to improve the visuals and UI all over the game, especially test range. To help the newcomers, we have introduced an in-game manual covering various aspects of the game. We will also be sharing shortly our roadmap on Steam as well, but our focus will lie in enriching the gameplay in the interwar era and polishing existing game mechanics. I am very, very excited to get this party started. Many, Amir, Capri, Ethan, Nine Tails, and Nariko, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get this party started. The return of Elite Armor Solutions is here. And we're going to start with Entrepreneur. Uh, you guys already know what this says, so we're not going to go over that. We're just going to go ahead and start right in. We are going to take the world by storm. The world is not ready for Elite Armor Solutions. Buzzy, Jessica, Nuked One, welcome, welcome. My name is none other than Spartan Elite. My company, of course, is the Elite Armor Solutions. Let's go. So early access, uh, as everybody knows, just so you know that there will be things that probably are going to still need to be fixed. This is early access. So things that you see that could be wrong will likely be addressed going forward. So just as a heads up. Let's get this, let's get it started. Y'all already know the deal. World news. The first tank corps has been formed. Acknowledging the importance of tanks, the high command has decided to separate all future tank regiments from the machine gun corps and assigned them to a dedicated military branch with the official name of the tank corps. Currently, the is one. Okay, so there's first, first oopsie is right out the gate. This needs to be there, 
There is one tank regiment, and there should be no S there. Under formation, and you can expect new tank contract, or a new tank contract, to be announced soon enough. So yeah, yeah just a little, little bit of uh, proofreading here in the very first pop-up. So just, you know, again, early access will likely be addressed. All right, let's go. So the first things we need to do, we need to design our first tanks. We need to start figuring out what our research is going to be going forward so that we can start down a path of destruction and mayhem, as you guys already know. So let's go to the research bureau first and figure out exactly what our focus is going to be. Now, a focus going from, you know, a little bit of everything seems like an ideal situation. However, I believe that mobility, especially early on, is key. So, rather than do all of this and try to go crazy and, and get all the things, I think that our biggest emphasis early on should be mobility. And building our better engines as quickly as humanly possible. Now, we could go for, like, the improved high-pass running gear and, and low-pass running gear and all that stuff. We're not going to worry about that right now. Okay? We're just not. We are going to go from here straight into uh, trying to get, like, the better fuels, the better engines, and so on. Okay? It's going to take time to unlock these, but getting to the better fuels is going to increase our crew safety, and it's also going to give us better acceleration and stuff. And I do eventually want to get to the V engines because yes, please. <laughs> so right off the bat, we're going to go straight for the twin engine. Okay. That's our, our goal right out the gate. So immediately going for the twin engine roll. And then we will go straight from there up to the petrol octane 47, which is better than octane 45. So that's our first goal. 20 days. It's going to take. All right. The next thing that we need to do, remember, we only have 800,000 credits as well. So we got we to gotta use it wisely. And now that we also know that the buildings can only have a certain number of uh, upgrades and stuff, we need to plan our upgrades more effectively this time around. So first of all, administration, we are going to immediately go for fire stations, medical stations, and maybe the maintenance office wouldn't be a bad idea. But for now, fire station's medical statement or station. We're going to get those going immediately. All right. For our research department, I feel like having uh, the ability to research everything a little bit quicker is probably going to be a good thing, which should be fundamental lab. All-purpose facility that can provide additional equipment and expertise to any research project gives us a 3% bonus to all of the focuses. But uh, we will do this. We will also be going for mobility early on. So getting these done will be huge early on because that will give us bonuses directly to the mobility. Um, everything else we're going to hold off on for now. Uh, in terms of production hall, uh, we'll hold out on this for the moment, but having like the sub assembly line seems like a good idea, but we're, we're just going to kind of hold off because we may need everything over time. Uh, there are certain, certain buildings that will be coming up depending on what we actually need for our our stuff so maybe going straight for the uh, sub assembly line would be a good idea and then maybe um, the retooling line uh, I don't know I don't think that's as big of a thing as we we were worried about ergonomics I think would be a good one which gives us more workers. So that allows us to build things quicker. So yeah, ergonomics and subassembly line. Okay, what else do we need? The engineering bureau isn't as important right away, but does give us an idea of what we should be able to do. And one of the things that we want to do early 
uh, well, maybe not necessarily early, but get under our um, thing would be to go for reverse engineering and ergonomics to get more more uh, engineers as well. So reverse engineering is going to become incredibly important down the line. But that's thirty thousand. Actually, I think we we better be a little bit more, a little bit more uh, careful here at starting. Good morning. Jamie, Toller Talk, good to see you guys. Hive Hounds in the chat, slap like now, you know the deal. Alex, good to see you. This is not Pow World. What up, y'all? What up, Alex? You're right, this is not Pow World. This is Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. And uh, I don't know if there's a thing going on with YouTube. I promise you, I have set everything, like, on my end to be incorrect. And if it's misleading you, I apologize. That is not on me. But first thing we need to do is come up with an engineering project. So let's design our first tank, shall we? So right out the gate, we have the Mark I. There's nothing crazy we need to do here. Um, we don't have any extra stuff, so we're not too worried there. So that's going to be our hull. We're going to have... Wait, did, did I not click? Oh, am I, am I, maybe I got to do it then. Design. Hold that thought. Hold the thought. That's reverse engineering. Design. Create a design. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we just want to get the Mark I ready to go as quickly as possible. Now, again, we want to try to focus on this stuff over here as best as possible. So we've got the Mark I hull. We're going to go with the Daimler six-cylinder engine. We're going to go with the Centipede Mark I tracks. Uh, we could put a cannon on both sides of this, but uh, I think early on, having a cannon... Let's see, this will be the right side? So yes, we want we want the uh, Sponson on the right side. Because that when we're going through the testing ground, that's the side that's going to need this. Okay, This side's going to be just an armored plate. Um, for the gun, we are going to have the Hotchkiss six-pounder. And then out the front, we are going to have a Lewis. Okay, so there we go. Now, our crew, again, we want to balance our stuff over here. Remember, you have to meet at least 50% of the requirements for the, sh for the tank. I'm going to keep calling it a ship because I'm bad. But uh, so in this case, we need at least two commander points, two driver points, three gunner points, four loader points, or two loader points, and then five mechanic points. So for right out the gate, we're going to go with commander gunner. Or uh, actually, yeah, commander gunner seems like a good idea. So he's going to be there. That gives us two points for the commander, two points for the gunner. Uh, the next slot, we will want a driver mechanic. That gives us two points for the driver and two points for the mechanic. Then we want a gunner loader, I believe. And that's going to give us all of our... We're going to be able to meet the requirements for commander, driver, gunner, and loader with just that. And now we need, obviously, to make our mechanic. And for that, we just need a mechanic. Now, could we make the mechanic do something else and still make at least half of that? I don't think so. If we go anywhere else, the mechanic will not be met. We need at least 5 out of 10. And if we were to make him do anything else, that cuts his exper or it cuts him in half. So, like, essentially, if we went with Gunner, uh, you can see it drops below 4 or drops below 5. Same thing. So, he has to be just a mechanic. And the reason we don't want to add extra crew members here is because of this. Paying attention to our volume limits. If we go out of the green, we start incurring safety bonuses. Or safety, uh, it would be the opposite of a bonus. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain's not working yet. But penalties, that's the word. Safety penalties. So if we were to add another crew member to try to do better on these, we would take a significant penalty to our uh, our crew protection, right? So we don't want to do that just yet. 
It's not ideal setup, but this will be a pretty solid first tank for us. All right, so now that we've got that, we need to look at our expendables. Obviously, there's only certain things that we can do, so we just throw in what we got, right? We throw in everything we've got. And then in terms of paint, uh, I think just a straight up default paint is fine for the first tank. So what do we call our first tank, folks? What up, Dark Ninja? Breston, good to see you. Ship tank. <laughs> what do we call our first tank? The kill box. I kind of like that, actually. The tootle, aka the turtle. Okay, not bad. The turd burglar. <laughs> Yeah. Just have a whole bunch of turd burglars running around out there in the world. The kill dozer. We could go, kill, could call it the kill dozer. But uh, what else you got there? What up, Michael J? You know what? I kind of, I, I kind of like it. Let's go with the turd burglar. Mark one. The turd burglar. Turd burglar. Turd burger, lure. Turd burger, lure. Close enough. I could be wrong. But we're going to go ahead and save this design. The turd burglar, Mark 1, is completely designed. Now, what we need to do is we need to um, assign it. I need to move my screen. My, my extra screen is in my way. I've got to click that. It'll take 26 days for them to design this tank. Okay. So in the meantime, we go back to the factory grounds. The Hamburglar. <laughs> so we have the turd burglar. We have the Hamburglar. All right. Next, we all have Grimace. You never know. All right. So... Now that we're doing that, we should be able to test drive it, right? I lied. We're not, we gotta wait for it to finish first. I lied. So we gotta wait for that to finish. Um, from a warehouse standpoint, there really isn't a whole lot that we need to think about. Uh, materials wise, we probably should start thinking about bringing in some materials. So we will go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and come up with a, an order. So we want to, oh, I guess we have to wait until everything's designed. That makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. So from here, we just go forward, right? Let's go ahead, go times 10, because no reason to dilly-dally around, and press play. Greetings. My name is Douglas Murray, and I have been appointed as your advisor by the executive board. The British High Command has declared plans to rapidly raise at least four tank regiments. We should start designing our new tank model right away. I'm already ahead of you, Sunshine. Let's go. Um, I mean, I've already I've already done so, but we'll just follow the tutorial. Yes, it's done. You're, you're welcome. All right, next. <laughs> we, we got a little bit ahead of the tutorial. I forgot the tutorial was actually a thing in the game. Uh, but yeah, let's keep it, keep it rocking, shall we? World news. More tanks required. Following the early success of tanks on the battlefield, how are there any tanks on the battlefield currently? I have not yet designed my first tank. It has not been sent out into the wild. How is there possibly tanks out there? I, I, I refuse to believe I am behind the eight ball. 
But it's okay. We will increase our manufacturing capabilities and all of that. Don't you worry. We will take the world by storm. Don't forget to invest in new component development and modification. If you haven't already, start stop by our research bureau. We already have, so we're good there. Keep it going. Following recent government announcements, we should ex increase our production capability in order to... Okay, we already have sub-assembly. Riveting would be a good idea, actually. Let's go ahead and get the riveting, because we went ergonomics. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get the riveting. Riveting gameplay experience. All right, next. We are increasing our operations and the risk of fire is growing more significant. Visit the uh, construct fire. To... I, I don't think you should construct fire. That seems like the opposite of what we want in this situation, but I understand you meant fire stations. So uh, yeah, another, another oopsie. Which, I don't think that this was an oopsie before, so this was a new oopsie. But we've already done that, so... Continue. Classified information. The Holt Manufacturing Company, as the war begins, nation struggled to send supplies to the front, and machine gun nests become a significant problem. To resolve this issue, Britain has already entered into talk to apply the potential of caterpillar tracks to the battlefield. First Lord of the Admiralty, Sir Winston Churchill, is negotiating with the Committee for Imperial Defense to form a land ship committee to break a soon-to-develop stalemate. Can these radical ideas truly change the current nature of warfare? I think they will. Okay, we have officially designed the Turd Burglar Mark I. Which means we should now be able to go in here and come up with the Turd Burglar Mark I and test drive it. Let's go. Time to test drive the Turd Burglar Mark I. All right. Straight ahead. Let's go to the secondary weapon. Actually, primary weapon can go there. Can you guys hear everything all right? But you should be able to hear it. Sweet. I remember last time, uh, nobody told me that there was no sound and everybody's like, just like, man, I wish we could hear things like after the end of like a six hour live stream. Up over the wall. Question mark. There we go. Okay, we already got all of those, so that's good. Keep it going. We have a tank. Switch to the primary weapon. Something is wrong with our primary weapon. Here we go. Switching back to secondaries. Okay. Swing through. I feel like the aiming in this game is just off by a little bit. Like, it doesn't want to aim. Beautiful. Much better. Okay, that tree is very immovable, apparently. Good to know. Keep it moving, boys. We must prove our effectiveness at maneuvering around the, the battlefield. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. That was a heck of a drop. Speaking of drops, down into the pits and up the other side, no problem. Our power to weight ratio seems pretty good in this original design. So there's that. All right. All right, spin it around. Get the gun down. That's too far. Yeah, our gun depression and elevation, terrible. Oop, we almost missed one. Hello? You are not cooperating, thank you. Down we go. Onward. Uh, the game is still currently in development, but should be coming out into early access soon. Uh, so keep an eye out on it on Steam. Uh, if you go into Steam, you should be able to wishlist the game, and that will let you know like when when the game is uh, coming out into early access. Right now, it's in closed beta. It's called Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. A triple T. It really did not want to work. And now once we hit 300 points, we've officially met the requirements and we get the bonuses. So beautiful. What up, Zachary? Welcome back. Good to see you. Glad you got to drop in. All right. So the next thing we want to do um, Make sure that uh, our mobility, since we did finish researching that, is to go ahead and research this. All right. Now that that's done, the next thing we need to do is go to our engineering office and actually engineer the new engine. So we have this twin four cylinder, which we can adjust as necessary. But uh, we'll check out the side brakes. We have the side brakes Mark II, which are generally just better across the board. They're sneakier. Uh, they're at least mi the, roughly the same, but they weigh less. So we'll take that. Uh, the flywheel Mark II weighs less than the original. Uh, and then other than that, doesn't really offer a whole lot of change. Uh, it is cheaper to produce. So there's that. And uh, easier to produce. Okay. Carburetor is still the Carburetor Mark I. The ra Radiator is a Radiator Mark II, so that's fine. It's definitely going to just be better across the board. And then the Transmission Mark II is also going to be a huge boost because we get a massive road speed advantage. Um, it's also better better repaired, so or easier to repair, but it's cheaper and it costs less to produce. So this will be our uh, twin four-cylinder. Let's go ahead and save that and assign. So the twin four cylinder is now going to be produced in five days. Now the biggest change with this is that our road speed and cross country speed goes up. But if you remember correctly, this twin four cylinder is not particularly amazing when it comes to like the bigger, bigger tanks. You would think it would be, but it isn't. But we, we may have to test that out. We may have to redesign our uh, current tank, the turd burglar, with the twin four cylinder just to see if it's going to stand up. All right. So let's go back to the factory grounds now that we've got that going. 
We also should be able to, uh, let's see, yeah, you're creating the new engine, so that's fine. The research is currently working on the thing. Let's go to administration and check out our uh, hiring capabilities. So we currently have 240 out of 300 workers. Uh, I definitely would like to hire like 60 of them. So, oh, oh no, 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 that, that would have been bad. <laughs> That's the opposite of what we want to do. There we go. We can only hire five people right now? Really? Okay, well, better do that. Let's start hiring people. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, and then, of course, we want to hire as many of these guys as we can for the engineers. That'll speed up our, our engineering times. Yeah, the sooner we can get our workers maxed out, the better. We need to keep an eye on our, our money situation as well. But uh, the next thing we want to do is go back into our warehouse and get our order for materials. Uh, we are going to set this as our, our material order. And I want to be able to build... 20 of these so let's just go for 20 uh if can we go to like europe okay so we're, we're not able to okay we can get it from asia all of the required materials so that's good um it will have possible delays as we know but uh it should be fine that will cost us 140 grand so we will go ahead and sign that there may be a delay of up to 14 days so this instead of taking 14 days could take an extra like could take 28 days so that's what we have to plan for in the future if we are up against the deadline right now we are not up against the deadline we are planning for the future have a great day jessica appreciate you dropping in okay speed up time Okay, engineering project has been finished. We are getting low on cash, but it should be fine. Um, yeah, 19 days left. Okay, so that's what I thought. So when we're doing this, this tells us how many days are left in the current project. We're not currently building anything, so all of these are just what our uh, buildings that we are building are going to take, which is 29 days, 10 days, so on. So let's just keep it going. William Tritton is available for hire. Your company's reputation is increasing. As a result, a new top executive has offered his services. All right, let's take a look at this man. Um, we go in here. We should be able to look at our experts. William Tritton, what do you what do you offer? All right, so you give us a 30% uh, man-hour cost reduction for tank production. You give us an extra 50 workers, a 10% delivery time focus, and a supply time focus. Okay, so it's... Obviously, his best would be for, uh, for production. So we'll go ahead and hire him, and then we'll assign him to our production facility. Yes. All right. He will arrive in five days, and once he arrives, we will uh, we will assign him to the production hall. Yeah, we've ar already done that, my guy. William Tritton has arrived, so we will now set our administrator to the production hall. And I don't know what it just said. Uh, is that a contract? I don't think so yet, but yeah, no current contracts available. Ten days left here. 
Oh, they might have been saying that there was a delay. Because now it's showing 15 days before it comes back. So yeah, must have been a delay. The mobility lab has been finished. So any research that we do in regards to mobility will now go much quicker. New tank revealed. According to trustworthy sources, the William Foster Company has just completed a new design, the Vanguard tank, codenamed Hector Mark I. Expect fierce competition for upcoming contracts. Okay, fair enough. All right, we did just finish our research, so let's go back into the research bureau and uh, go for the next line. We want to go straight for the inline engine. This is the Ricardo six-cylinder, so let's go ahead and start that. It is going to take time. It's going to take 68 days to research, but I do want to get it done. Okay. Um, what did we just... We just unlocked the fuel, right? So we shouldn't have to... Like, if we go to engineering, shouldn't have to do anything with the fuel. Yeah, fuel is just an additive, so you don't have to actually engineer that. So we're we're good there. Back to the, back to the thing. All right, next turn. The company appears to be doing well, but you need to delegate part of the burden to to capable top executives. We've already done that, so you're welcome. All right, we are doing okay with cash, so we just want to keep an eye out. Okay, the uh, riveting hall has been completed. Beautiful. Uh, the new resources have arrived. Also beautiful. Okay. Classified in information the Holt and Hornsby tractors have been studied the British Army is enacting a study of tractor design to direct future development of special interest to them uh, or sorry of special interest to them are the Holt and Hornsby design the former being powerful while the latter uses sophisticated track and differential systems this new this news may be frustrating to one Sir David Roberts, engineer of the Hornsby Company, that already showcased them to the military on numerous occasions, only to be rebuffed by Royal Artillery officers qualifying horses to be far superior in every condition. Yeah. And our new fire station has been built, as well as our medical facility has been built. I love the old school, like, ambulances and fire trucks, man. That's awesome. They look so cool. Ooh, look at this. Fancy. Fancy! Must be the ergonomics office. And then here's the sub-assembly line. Beautiful. So all of our buildings that we were building are now completed. What do we got here? I forget what this is. But it's done. Alright. Uh, the next thing we actually wanted to do is go ahead and uh, set... Uh, that's the museum. We don't care about the museum. We want the proving grounds. Uh, if we set our Mark I turd burglar in here, we can set it to test. So that they are doing that. That's going to take three days for them to test as well. Get a little bit more bonuses, I believe, out of it. Or at least reduce potential flaws. Alright, let's go ahead and speed up time. Predicted balance. Uh, I didn't see what it was going to be. Uh, okay, so we are losing money relatively rapidly here. Not ideal. But we're okay for the moment. We may end up having to take out a loan. World News. The British Empire announces a new contract for 20 tanks. 
British Empire's general staff has issued a bid for a new tank and accompanying supply contract to equip its army with the Vanguard tank. Must meet strict requirements and bidding companies are to offer around 20 to equip the 1st Battalion. Already designers and engineers are scrambling to present their project to be awarded. Okay, so how long do we have before this contract becomes available? Uh, we have the deadline is 1030. So we got right about a month before we can before we necessarily need to. So what I'm thinking is we go ahead and we throw a little bit of extra in there um, and try to come up with a second like a Mark 2 a or a Mark 1A design ish. So we'll hold off on, on our submitting our idea for that just yet. Uh, the research bureau, we have 25 days left for the inline engine, uh, which is cutting it a bit close if I'm being 100%. Um, is there anything else that we could do? There's really not, other than maybe trying to see if the um, design would be better. Let, let's, let's go to our design. We'll come up with a uh, dual inline four so we'll call it the turd burglar. Uh, everything's going to be the same with the exception of the engine is going to be the twin four cylinder. Everything else shouldn't have changed. We are going to go with the same exact setup. Uh, this will be that and this will be this. So it will be literally the exact same thing except for with a different engine. I want to see how that affects things and uh, whether one is preferred over the other. We will see. I mean, only time will tell. So, Commander Gunner, bunk. Uh, driver Mechanic, bunk. Gunner Loader, bunk. And finally, Mechanic. That makes everything the exact same as the other tank. Uh, so, we should just have a little bit better mobility, if I'm correct. Uh, expendables should be the same. No problem there. We do have the better fuel, though, as well. So that will be better crew safety than the previous. So as you can see here, we have operation range is increased by 20% with the Petrol 47. Uh, the power unit is more reliable by 10%. Um, crew safety is better by 10%. It's still minus 10%, though. And then, of course, the power unit itself is... Uh, the same in terms of reliability. So that doesn't affect the, the reliability yet. So there's that. Uh, Paint-wise, we'll go with uh, same default for now. And we will call this the uh, Turd Burglar. I kind of like the, the A. Turd Burglar. Mark 1A. Save. All right, that is going to be assigned. It's going to take 25 days to come up with that, which is fine, because that should finish just in time for us to still make the contract if this is a better design overall. So we will go ahead and do that. Okay? Um, other than that, we should be good to go. Just got to keep an eye out on, that con or on the contract itself. But we should have plenty of time to get these done. 25 days. All right. Next, all we got to do is start. Now, obviously, the biggest problem with this is we're not getting a head start on production if we're waiting until the last moment for the, the contract. It's going to be it's going to be a bit iffy. We'll see. New tank revealed. According to trustworthy sources, the Metropolitan Carriage and Wagon has just completed a new design of the Exploitation Tank. Oh, that sounds interesting. Codenamed Odysseus, Mark 1. Expect fierce competition for the upcoming contracts. Okay, fair enough. All right, keep it going. Remember, 1030 is the end of the contract. Uh, and according to a trustworthy source, the Daimler Motorin Gishlef, good God, I, I y'all and your your names has just com completed a new design of the rationalized tank, codenamed Fenrir 
Aus hey, fair enough. There is going to be quite a bit of contract, uh, like, disputing going on here. All right, keep it going. The Colonel Estienne's appeal. French Colonel Jean-Baptiste Eugene Estienne has today made an official statement to the officers of his regiments. Gentlemen, victory will belong to the first nation able to put a 75 millimeter gun onto an all-terrain vehicle. All right. He has already called for the rapid development and deployment of so-called gun-carrying caterpillars and has also requested that France follow in Britain's footsteps, studying Holt as well as Hornsby designs. What up, Aaron? Hey, Welcome to the Tonks. Lances as well. Good to see you. I'm doing good, Lord Vader. Appreciate you dropping in as well. Manny, good to see you. All right, let's keep it going. It's going to be close. Like, we're, we're nine days out, so it's we should be able to in no time. New tank revealed. The Schneider at sea has just competed, completed a design of the Wire Crusher tank, codenamed the Camulus MLE-1. Fair enough. Man, there is a lot more companies involved in this particular fight, I think. Okay. Turd Burglar Mark 1A is done. Let's go ahead and get that thing in um, test drive. That'd be this one. Test drive this thing immediately. Get the gun rotating to the front. You can see it already is a little bit sluggish off the line compared to the uh, inline six cylinder. So it definitely doesn't have the torque that the six cylinder does. Despite having two two four-cylinder engines, so it's technically got two more cylinders. Alright. Switch over to the secondary weapons, please. Ah. I missed it. Up the hill. Still got enough power, though. And this should have better overall road speed. Got it. Look at me speed running. Turn. Thank you. Also seems to have better agility in the turning. Kind of. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely lacking in the uh, torque department, for sure. All right, go back. Main gun. Beautiful. Back to the secondaries. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot that from here. Okay. Hit that. Turn in. How did I manage to miss all of those? Keep it going. Good Lord. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is, is hurting from the lack of torque. Though it did get up the, the hill just fine. There are definitely some snags in the ground as well. All right. Can we get the gun up, please? Beautiful. Spin this thing around. Yeah, early, not having, like, gun depression and elevation does definitely hurt these early tank designs. And you're really limited by the mounts that you're able to utilize. 
But that'll come down to firepower later. Which we will be getting into as well. Over the trench. Thank you. Okay. Nailed it. Beautiful. Continue. All right. So, let's go ahead and set this to Proving Grounds as well. That will take two days to finish, and it is currently the 24th, so that's fine. Uh, Research Bureau, though, we need to start our next project. From a mobility standpoint, I feel like going for the better octane how long will that that's going to take 77 days um yeah let's do it 77 days mm, yeah get it done get it done we'll go for it all right um back here If we go forward, okay, Turd Burglar Mark 1A has been completed. Let's go with the uh, contract and see which tank design they prefer. So this currently has a success score of minus. Uh, the Turd Burglar Mark 1A is, or Mark 1 is a 301. The Mark 1A is a 387. So they definitely prefer the Mark 1A over the Mark 1. Makes sense. Just a better tank, despite having a little bit less torque. It's faster over the road and just better for protection and all of that. So much better there. So we will be submitting our Turd Burglar Mark 1A as our uh, inspiration. Okay. The competitor score, currently there's only one competitor, and he has a success score of up to 408. So we are going to have to at least get above 408. We can do this by changing uh, the price of the tank. Obviously, we would like to have 36,000 per tank, but clearly that's not going to work out because we need to get this just a little bit better. We're going to have to drop this down. As long as we get above... 408 then we are guaranteed to win this contract now the other thing is uh the contract deadline like in terms of we need to have 20 tanks built by december 9th um how long will it take us to build 20 of these tanks if we go here and go here, if we choose the Turd, Turd Burglar Mark 1A, is this the correct tank? Yes, the Mark 1A. Okay, so if we go to build 20 of these, it's going to take 33 days to build, which would put us uh, very, very close to the deadline. Because we still have to ship these to the uh, British by that time. Let's go ahead and start producing them. We will go ahead and build 20 of them. It will take 33 days. All right, let's go back. Uh, see if we can get some new new people as well. That's the other thing. We should be able to hire some some new workers. Hopefully, there's some more. Uh, we have plenty available to hire, so beautiful. Let's uh, hire as many as we can. Uh, we currently have up to 450 com capable. That would be 
205 that we need then. Math is difficult. Higher. Okay. Um, engineers wise, we have uh, 75 of 90, so we need to bring out another 15 of these guys. Beautiful. Higher. Okay. So now we have a full staff, which is beautiful. The, uh, the loan is a bit sketch. I don't know if we want to go for a loan just yet. We'll see how this, this translates. It's going to be very close. We may end up having to. As a matter of fact, let's just do it. Let's just max out the, the loan. We can get a $450,000 loan. Um, we'll pay it off in five years. So that that means we're going we're going to end up paying back uh, quite a bit of money, but that's fine. We can handle it. Once we start actually building tanks and selling them, then we should be fine. All right. So thirty three days for this. The contract. Uh, if it's going to be thirty three days, it's currently this. So thirty days would be. Uh, let's see, October has thirty one days. So there's five days left here. 30 days would be, or it'd be another 20, 28 days. So that'd be November 28th, which if we go to then ship, we should be able to ship it out before the 9th. It's going to be so close. All right, let's go ahead. Turd burglar mark A, uh, the 9th. Can we go just a little bit longer than that? Oh, that reduces our success score by quite a bit. Let's go by December 14th. I, that gives us a little bit more of a leeway. And then we can drop the price just a little bit to get us up to where we need to be. Whoops, not that far. Let's go with this. All right. So we will be giving them 20 tanks for 31,250 a piece and they will be delivered by the 14th of December. Okay, sign it. All right, so they will review that contract and it should be done anytime. Um, let's just go ahead and go forward. Research Bureau is already working on the next section. Um, trying to think. There shouldn't be anything else that we got to do here. So let's just go ahead and uh, might as well order some more resources. Get them on the way because we will likely have to get some more. So if we're going to build 20 of these. And we're just going to grab it from Asia again because super cheap. And despite having a potential for a... Um, delay like we're not in any rush to get the materials so cheap is better so get it done all right what up tuna good to see you i am the real sounds like a loan for your house probably i've seen your houses good lord all right in order to meet the demand, we must purchase more raw materials. This can be done in the warehouse. Uh, I thought we already... Pretty sure we already, already got all the raw materials, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. I think that's part of the tutorial again. New tank revealed. According to trustworthy sources, the William Foster company has just unveiled a new Fusilade tank, the Athena Mark I. Okay. And our contract has been accepted. Of course it has. Beautiful. Beautiful. And of course there's a delay.
Yes, I know. New non-aggression treaty has been signed between the British Empire and the German Empire. Okay. New trade agreement has been signed between Britain and France. New tank revealed. It is the Nest Buster tank, codenamed Tyrannus MLE-1. Okay. Okay, resources have arrived. And production has been completed. And of... All right, let's go over here. We need to ship... Um, actually, we need to go to tank storage. That's the one. We need these, and we need to ship 20. Um, who will we be sure? It's got to be there by the 15th, right? So we cannot afford a, de a delay, because currently this would be... Seven days and then seven days. So this would still be able to make it, but that's 20,000 per. But if it, yeah, and if this delayed, we could, we can't have that. Cannot have that. Um, yeah, I think we just go with uh, Winkington. Worst case scenario. Oh, wait, no, that's 12 days with a potential delay of seven days. So that would be a 19 days from now. So that, yeah, that, that can't happen. Um, but this is so expensive if we use this. Uh, safety, William and Partners can, can sell it or can deliver it in 18 days. It's got to be there by... Yeah, this is not going to work. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I guess we're going to go with... I think we have to go with the expensive option here. Because we're just right up against it. We cannot afford to screw this up. Um. Yeah, yeah, we cannot afford to screw this up. So we will be taking the expensive option. This is going to cost us $60,000 to ship our 20 tanks. It will arrive on December 8th. But at, at worst, it arrives three days late. So that would be um, the 11th. So that still gets us there in time. So yeah, unfortunately, because we're right up against the contract deadline in terms of delivery, we are going to have to take this. So let's do that. Uh, in the future, we may we may sacrifice a little bit of the price of our tanks in order to make the deadline a little bit longer so that we, we don't have to do this because this is expensive. But sign the order. Get it done. It's going to take nine days for that to get shipped out. Beautiful. Um, other than that... don't think there's anything else we got to worry about at the moment so let's just keep it going we are about to be out of money real soon but we are also about to get paid so we, we should be okay major swinton's proposal um bulletproof caterpillars able to destroy enemy machine guns in light of private offerings paving the way yeah that's that's me You'll be fine. Contract has been completed and we just made a boatload of money. Beautiful. All right. Is there any other contracts? I don't think there is. Yeah, there's no, no current contracts. So we need to keep working on our research project for now. Um, if we look at the world map, 
obviously Britain has our tanks. So their tank core is going to have 20 units of the Turd Burglar Mark 1As. Beautiful. From Elite Armor Solutions. You'll love to see it. I'm going to have to come up with an Elite Armor Solutions like logo at some point. That'd be pretty sick if we could like slap our logo on stuff. Depends on how this series goes. Maybe maybe I'll have somebody come or maybe yeah maybe I'll come up with something. But yeah, we should be good. All right. Does anybody else have a, a tank division? Nobody. I'm sure they don't. But yeah, hopefully we'll be getting some contracts from them soon enough. Now, the obviously bad thing here would be the fact that we are going to have uh, our money situation. So, we are paying $45,000 a month for workers, $18,000 a month for engineers, $3,500 a month for administrators, $89,000 a month for building maintenance. Okay. I think now would be a good time to get the maintenance office. This is going to cut our cost of buildings by 10%. Is that worth it? That's $30,000 now. It takes 60 days to complete. It's only 10%. I thought it would be better than that. Yeah, let's go ahead and reduce that. Because that's like our biggest cost right now in terms of... Uh, so building maintenance is 90k, so if we take that down by 10, that'll be $9,000 less per month. So that would take us down to 80. 80 plus the new 2,000, so it'd be like, I don't know, 80, 81, 81, 500 or something like that. So not a huge cut, but over time it should hopefully help us. We'll see. For now... Uh, administration why there's not a whole lot we can do we're waiting for the research um, engineering department doesn't have anything to do like we're just kind of idle for the moment now what we could do is go ahead and start producing we could go ahead and start producing more tanks expecting to sell more tanks that is that is something we could do Um, but that's really expensive. But producing the tanks early, I think, is going to be key here. Uh, especially to save us shipping costs later on. So we'll go for the Turk Burglar Mark 1A again. Um, let's build 20 of them. It will take only 18 days. So the first one took 33 days because they had to set up all the machines and stuff. But now, because we've already got everything set up, we can produce the same amount of tanks in 18 days. So almost half the time. So that's that's big. So let's go ahead and assign that. So we will produce 18 more tanks. Or 20 more tanks in 18 days. We will have to set on those tanks for the moment. But at least the next time we have a contract pop up, we can easily sell 20 tanks for nothing. In no time at all. Which means we can drive up the price of those tanks as well. Contract number two. The uh, British Empire's general staff has issued a bid for a new tank and company supply contract to equip its army with the Vanguard tank. Uh, we already seen that, so let's go ahead and go in. The second battalion. Um, I mean, we already have the Turd Burglar Mark 1A. You love it. You know and love it. Uh, the competitor's offer is 404, so we can easily beat that. We've already produced the tanks. Uh, it is currently, I mean, we got three months to deliver the tanks. Um, let's see, how many, how, how long we got? This is already done, right? Yeah, so we're already done producing the tanks. We just got to ship them out. So this is a, that was a beautifully timed, like, contract, too, because we have 20 tanks ready to go. Uh, we can reduce the the deadline. We can say, okay, by the 10th of January, we will have the tanks to you. Uh, actually, I want to give us a little bit more time than that. Let's go with like, 
by the 20th of January, you will have 20 new tanks. Um, success score, we gotta throw that in there. Okay, that gives us a lot of a lot of wiggle room. Now, again, we gotta beat 404. So now we just raise the price. And that, that tells me right there, the deadline is everything when it comes to points. Because now we are charging $44,500 per tank. So uh, we will take that. Let's go. All right, that'll be a total of $890,000 too. Beautiful. Wait, the, hold on. Uh, the application deadline is on the 26th. How are we going to make it happen by then? Okay, that's that I didn't pay attention to. So the deadline for this, they, they, they will make their ruling by this date, right? We're going to have to keep this in mind. Okay, so the 26th. Let's go for like February. February 8th. That gives us five and eight. That's 13 days, right? Yeah, 13 days. So we will have to drop the price a little bit. I'm glad I noticed that. Wait, we can go with that because that's above 404. So we're good. So, a little bit less money, but still pretty solid. Because I don't think they make their determination until this date. And if that's the case, then we need to be able to ship the, the tanks before the deadline. If the deadline had already passed, then I think that would be a bad thing. Uh, we will, but... For now, we're, we're utilizing these tanks. We will definitely be utilizing the new engine soon enough. All right, so that should be uh, coming up shortly. See, now it says the contract deadline is freaking uh, the 31st. Dang it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We got to pay attention to the contract deadlines for these kinds of things because we could have gotten a little bit more money out of it. And at this point, nickeling and diming, diming the countries is definitely an ideal scenario. All right. Um, let's go ahead and come up with a... Let's see. We've got in the Research Bureau, currently we are working on Petrol Octane 50. I want to wait until that comes out before we come up with the new design. So... Once that comes out, then we'll have the new design. Okay, we have been accepted for the contract. We will immediately ship those out. Uh, tank storage. We have 20 of them. Um, what is our contract currently? It needs to be delivered by the 7th of February. And we will definitely make that. So we don't need to go expensive here. Let's go with the cheapest option. Um, Ryder and Co., I think, is the cheapest option. Yeah. 950 per. They can ship 20 of them at a time. And it will arrive in eight days with a potential 14-day uh, thing so we can afford that risk no problem make it happen beautiful all right uh, 10 days left for the research project and then we will design our new uh, iteration and it has been delayed by 14 days again not that big a deal your achievement status reflects both your and your opponent's progress towards victory. Make sure to plan your actions wisely to reap the benefits soon enough. Yep, not a problem. So, I believe what they're talking about is uh, up here. So, yes. We are currently at 4,479 of Tier 1. 
So as we do things, I'm assuming we unlock these at these these achievement levels. So once we get to 30k, we are the new administrator Walter Wilson award. So, yeah, we we've got plenty of time. All right, five days until the research project is done. Beautiful. Let's get the next research project going. Now we're not going to go straight for the final engine just yet. This is uh, this is the V-shape engine. We're not going straight to that just at this time. We've got the gas now. What I want to do is go back to um, structure, get get the uh, RHA steel coming up, because that won't take very long at all. It's going to take 29 days. So we will go ahead and start that. And once we start getting that, then we can start getting into like medium tanks and so on as well. I don't really care about the female Mark II or Mark I here. Uh, we're not going to use that at all. And then firepower wise, we will eventually be adding. But I'm not as worried about firepower right off the start of the game. Mobility is a big one and then go from mobility on. Uh, we could go ahead and start working on improved high pass running gears and stuff like that, which we will uh, soon. But I, I want to get the RHA steel first. Um, let's go ahead and go to the to be the design lab right so design we want to create a new design it will be using the mark one chassis the engine oh wait did we engineer the new engine uh no let me let me check did we actually engineer the new engine uh we have the ricardo six under we didn't engineer it i'm a dumb I'm a dumb. All right, so we're going to have to wait a couple of days for this. All right, the other thing we want to do is check and make sure that these are all uh, ideal. So the ones that come on it are the side brakes Mark III. Uh, it is 2, 2, 2, and 3. So it is just better across the board, as you'd expect. So that's good. Radiator Mark III, again. Um, crew comfort is a little bit lower with this radiator. But our obstacle slope angle is better. Um, operation range is actually a little bit lower. And power unit is the same. So is doubling our obstacle slope angle with this radiator better? Or is crew comfort and uh, operation range more important? I'm going to go with operation range and crew comfort. So we're going to slap the Mark II radiator in there. Um, as for the carburetor, we do have the carburetor Mark II, which should just be better across the board, uh, a little bit more reliable. doesn't really offer anything in, in particular up here. Uh, it is a little bit heavier. Uh, does cost a lot more to produce, but uh, does give us a little bit better reliability. Flywheel Mark III. Let's double check. Two, 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 and two. One, 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 and one. I mean, it's just doubly better than everything else, though it is going to be more expensive to produce. So that's fine. Uh, and then, of course, the transmission. We have the transmission Mark III, which gives us six, six, five, and six, whereas we have four, seven, six, and five. So it's going to be more reliable. Slightly worse road speed than the previous transmission, but much better agility and slightly worse cross-country speed so it's going to be a little bit slower but the trade-off is better reliability uh it is heavier though as well is it worth it the obvious the obvious biggest advantage would be the agility get a plus two in agility but is it worth it For double the price, almost double the weight, I don't think it is. I don't think it's worth it. I think we go with the, the transmission Mark II. I just don't think this is worth the uh, the extra price. Like it's just the the bonuses aren't enough. It is slightly more reliable, but it, 
weighs twice as much and only offers a plus two here and you drop on cross country speed and road speed which I would much rather keep okay so let's go ahead and assign that that should get built in uh, eight days what up Martin how's it going Rusty good to see you guys sorry if I don't check in on you guys as often harmful good to see you I'm glad you enjoy man and uh, sorry that you're going through uh, depression. I know what it's like. So I'm glad to help out in any way that I can. Let's go ahead and speed up time while we're waiting. The war has begun between the British Empire and Belgium. Okay, are they using our tanks? Um, so here we can see they are in fact using our tanks to fight off the Belgians. They have a times 14 military strength, whereas the Belgians only have a times 4. The Belgians also do have artillery, but so do we. Uh, plus, we have the Turd Burglar Mark 1As that are going in there. So we'll see how that goes. 10,000 men versus uh, 10,000 men. Plus, we have cavalry, artillery, and tanks. This should be a win. If this is not a win, then Britain needs to reevaluate their, their strategies. It should be a very good showcase of the sh of the the new tank as well. All right, the engineering bureau has done, so let's go ahead and design. Um, in terms of the uh, can we actually go in and just make small changes? So we just load this up. Um, expendables swap this out for the new petrol 50 oh we can't okay that's what i thought okay so create a design um straight up everything should be the same this should be the ricardo six cylinder that we just built uh we will have the centipede mark one we will have the sponson and the plate as well as the gun and whoops beautiful selected crew should be commander gunner driver mechanic gunner loader and mechanic that should meet all of our requirements um we actually can we can we get away with having the gun or the mechanic do something else i don't think so i think that would technically fall under half so yeah i think we still have to keep him as as solely a mechanic um we are doing okay everywhere we are a little heavy, as you'd expect. Spendables-wise, this is where we're going to be big. Uh, we do have this now, which gives us a much better crew safety rating. We now have a 5% crew safety bonus instead of a minus 10%. So that is a 15% increase in crew safety. Love that. Uh, everything else should stay the same because we haven't done anything there. Uh, this one, we're going to go ahead and make uh, the Deep Brunswick Green. Actually, no, let's keep it the default. I lied. Let's keep it the default. This will be turd bur whoop, burglar. Turd burglar. Mark two, baby. Save it. And then design, please. Um, can we delete old old designs like the original turd burglar can we delete this i don't i don't know i don't see a way to to remove it so this could get a little bit obnoxious if we keep doing so many refits but take 27 days for them to come up with this design from an engineering standpoint and then we will have to actually design it Okay, 22 days left there. Battle of Watsa between the British and the Belgians has begun. Okay. How are we looking? Is everything going well? It's a low-intensity battle. 
Okay. Doesn't seem like anything's going on there that we need to worry about. So keep it going. Contract for two, or for second battalion has been completed. So we just made our money. Beautiful. Love it. We did, in fact. So $1.3 million. We're rolling in it now, boys. All right. First, uh, let's go to our warehouse. Let's buy a whole bunch of resources. Um, just go ahead and go for another 20. Go to Asia. Get that on its way. Actually, let's go for like... Can we go 30? No, 30 is too much. Okay. 29. Whoops. Twenty-eight, seven, six. Okay, twenty-six of them. Sign the order. Get that ship to us, please. As long as I have resources, I can build tanks. So, got to make sure we have the resources. Question is, do I go ahead and build more of the Tur Burglar Mark One A's before we get the new tank out? And I think the answer is yes. I think we do. I think I go ahead and build just out of, out of like, future-proofing. Just build another 20 of these. We should have plenty of resources. It will take 18 days. Assign it. Uh, just in case there is a resupply contract for those that pops up. But for now, we will, we will continue on our path towards creating the new tank. Army Corps grows stronger. They are now um, equipped with armored trains. Oh, God. Don't worry. Uh, campaign in Cairo is now underway. Ottoman Empire and British Empire are rapidly mobilizing. Battles are sure to uh, start. Okay. So we have the campaign in Cairo as well, but they are not using our tanks in that particular conflict. They are still utilizing our tanks up here, though. So we don't know how this is going to go yet. New alliance between the British Empire and Liberia. Okay, keep it going. Um, the transport of materials is going to be late, as expected. Would appear that you have mastered the fundamentals and no longer require my guidance. If you have any questions, you can always refer to the manual. Okay, fair enough. Appreciate you. Battle of Watsa between the British Empire and Belgium has concluded. Um, has finally come to an end with British Empire seizing the battlefield after fierce combat. No matter the odds, 1st Battalion showed to be superior. I mean, uh, the odds were in our favor. <laughs> Let's be real. All right, so we had this one in particular, which has concluded. Let's go look at the outcome. By George, the tank's outstanding performance across all fronts proved to be the key to our triumph. Delivering unmatched mobility, devastating firepower, and unwavering resilience. Love it. We got more fame. Look at that. We did great, apparently. Love it. So uh, we didn't earn any experience, though, apparently. But whatever. Let's check out the next one. Uh, landscape was plain. Infrastructure has railway railways. It was rural and low intensity. Is there nothing? Oh, okay. Deployment side of things. The tank's swift and nimble movements on the battlefield were a sight to behold. Embodying the British spirit of relentless determination. Beautiful. So, deployment score of plus 27. Love it. I mean, we got, we got for the first time ever, we got green thumbs across the board. We like this. Crew report. The tank's remarkable mobility proved to be the very essence of British prowess on the field. Maneuvering swiftly through... Command... Oh, that, that, that's weird. Okay. 
through treacherous terrains and ambushing the enemy. So well done. We have success there. We get a 17% ambush bonus. And a plus 24 recon score. All right. Targeting. The tank's remarkable ability to aim at the enemy was a sight to behold, striking fear into the ranks. Uh, plus 34 to the Hotchkiss and plus 26 to the uh, Lewis, where unfortunately they had these little tiny guns shooting at them. Could you imagine? Like you're sent into battle and the first thing that you run into is this thing. You're just standing there with, with like a, a old school rifle and you're like, pew 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 and it just looks at you with the gun and goes yeah i think you should probably surrender now from a hit standpoint i mean we we did what we had to do multi-weapon bonus was good ambush hit bonus was good hit scores good the tank's uh, uh weapon accuracy was simply impeccable striking the enemy with un unnerving precision a resounding testament to the unwavering aim of our gallant british forces well done from a ricochet standpoint, obviously, uh, we had pretty decent anti-ricochet because tank versus not tank. <laughs> so uh, we, we did okay there. The tank's impeccable gun and ammunition selection proved to be our salvation. Turns out if you're shooting at not tanks with bullets, you don't ricochet all that often. Who'd have thunk it? Um... What else do we got in terms of penetration? Again, I, I, yeah, you guys were struggling to penetrate. Who'd have thunk it? Tank. Not tank. <laughs> Damage. How'd we do? Um, they had a safety score somehow. I, I don't know. The tank's exceptional gun and ammunition. Okay, that's just the same thing we've already seen. So... From a damage standpoint, which did more damage? 13.3 versus 2.3. So yeah, the uh, six pounder was definitely the better damager. Interesting. Against soft targets, you would think the better damager would be the Lewis, but I guess still having the ability to reach out and touch things with HE is probably a, a thing. All right. The tanks proved to be a testament to British ingenuity as our skilled engineers worked tirelessly to restore many battered machines after the battle so repair score plus 12 love it yeah i don't think we lost anything so well done beautiful you can affect you can effectively take our tanks up against infantry and whoop their ass they did have artillery too so keep that in mind it's not just the infantry so we did good there six more Six more days until the uh, production finishes for the Mark 1As again. And uh, 11 days until the new design is done. Russian behemoth. Uh, Russians, or reports from the east, describe a massive weapon tested on order of the Tsar. The gigantic Tsar tank seems to use three gargantuan wheels linked to two blimp engines and is armed with a cannon and machine guns in a central tower. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, the Athena Mark II has been announced. Okay, fair enough. The Battle of a Swan between the Ottoman Empire and British Empire has begun. Okay, are we in this? Also, we just finished our manufacturing of the maintenance building. Are you using our tanks? You are not. Okay, fair enough. Wait, you are using our tanks. Oh, that's that's the concluded one. Okay, that's in the Oriental. Okay, you're not using them in Cairo. Fair enough. Keep it rolling. Okay. New tank revealed. It is the Odysseus Mark II. So everybody's starting to come out with their Mark II tanks, but we're a little bit ahead of them. A battle of a zero between the British Empire and Belgium has begun. Okay. We'll check that out and see if we're being utilized there. The new design has been completed. Let's take it into combat and test it out. Um, all 
right, let's go forward. So remember, we do have the Ricardo inline six owner now. Instead of the dual dual four cylinders. So we're back to having torque, which is nice. From a firepower standpoint, we haven't changed anything. All right, let's see how this thing does going up this hill. Shouldn't have any trouble. And doesn't. Practically left up the wall. From an agility standpoint, seems to be doing pretty well. Arguing with me. Navigate the minefield of tanks just fine. Big drop, no problem. Union Jack flying proud above the landscape over there. And no problem getting up Death Hill. Swing this thing around. Beautiful. So, yeah, so far this thing seems to be performing quite well, as you'd expect. Should earn good marks in crew safety as well. Easily goes across the trench. Got it. Beautiful. All right, so yeah, it kind of flew through there, no problem, which is always a good thing. Uh, would I recommend dispersion mod or reload mod for what? Depends on the, the ship that you're looking for. Uh, did I miss something? Let me scroll back and see. Yeah, I don't see what you were asking for. For Cleveland, okay. Uh, for Cleveland, I would go for reload. Um, because you're throwing so many shells downrange anyway that accuracy really isn't the problem. So I would, for Cleveland in particular and most light cruisers, it's accuracy by volume. Just throw as many shells downrange as possible. Now keep in mind, it is going to slow down your turret traverse by going reload. Hopefully that helps, Martin. Okay, 
Uh, what do we do? Research Bureau. Let's get in here. Check this out. All right, so we did get the RHA steel. Um, I'm not too worried about the medium haul just yet. Um, but we are going to grab it. It's going to take 38 days to, to research. Is there a tier two yet? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Let's keep an eye out for more. Okay, research-wise, we have the Fundamental Lab, which just makes things a little bit quicker. Ergonomics does give us an extra 10 engineers, so maybe we go ahead and grab that. That's going to allow us to research faster. Um, a 5% chance of completing a project in a single day. I mean, you never know when that'll actually pop up, but I feel like actually going for Structure Lab would also be something good right now. And it gives us 15% chance. Uh, we can only have four facilities. I forgot about that. Discount for all research nodes of 10%. Um... Let's open up the research real quick. So like if they're saying a discount, like if we're if we're going for this, it just tells us like the cost, right? So 146, 84, 237, and it unlocks all this stuff. Okay. I don't think that that's really going to be a big deal for us. Are there any contracts available? There are not. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we have designed. Let's go ahead and set our tank to the proving ground. Get that testing. Um, six days until the resources get here. Tank trials complete. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Do we order more resources now? I feel like that would be a good idea, but we also are, we don't know when our next contract is going to be, so holding on to our money seems like a good idea as well. We already have 20 tanks already built, so there's no reason to rush into production of a new new tank just yet. Uh, German Empire and France forces are rapidly mobilizing. Okay. In terms of this, this one is already completed, I believe. Or no, this is this is the one that's completed. This one is going, and uh, let's take a look. So again, they're using our tanks. Uh, they, again, only have a few men and some artillery. We have all of everything, so yeah, you, good luck. Good luck, Belgians. You're going to need it. Uh, the one thing I didn't look at is we should have... Okay, they're not using any of our tanks here. So just keep an eye out for the ones that are actually being used. We are getting low on funds again. New trade agreement with Spain and Italy. New tank revealed. It is the assault tank Odin Ausf A. Here.
World uh, Battle of Moisala between German and Empire and France has concluded. Okay. This is our loan. How, how much longer we have to pay on that loan. Battle of uh, Aswan between Ottoman Empire and the British Empire has concluded. Um, I don't think that was involving us. I think that was this one. Austria-Hungary and Spain have signed a new trade agreement. How would I feel if Har Harugamo was added to Legends? I don't know, to be honest. I haven't played it. New alliance between the Germans and uh, Ethiopia. Medium Hall has been completed. Let's go ahead and uh, start the next bolted assembly. Let's get that going. It's going to take 55 days. Okay, we do need to engineer the medium hull. So we will be doing that. So let's go to engineering immediately. So we have the medium whippet. We look at this thing. We will be using RHA steel with rivet assembly ammo stowage is fine we don't have any of this yet we do have extra fuel stowage we can throw on there everything else we don't really have um hull hatch i mean this is just better it's lighter as well yep just better and then in terms of the back uh we don't need this on we could throw it on there we don't need it so taking that off seems like a good idea all right save that so that is our new medium whippet and assign that please take nine days to engineer now, obviously, the next question is, we don't have the tracks and stuff capable of running that. Um, we're not researching it just yet, so medium tanks are still out of our uh, realm of possibilities at the moment. If we go to administration, we are maxed out there, maxed out there, so we're still fine. Um, our loan amount um, still gets paid off. I mean, we could repay. How much do we have left to pay? That's the question. I feel like we don't really have quite enough yet. Soon. Soon we want to try to get that repaid. All right. Let's keep it going. A new contract for 20 more tanks. Beautiful. Um... Contract center. We will again show the Mark 1A. Because that's the one we already have for. Okay. The one thing I didn't look at. Uh, this ends in 426. Okay. The enemy has 403 as their score. So we can we can drop this down. Because we already have the tanks available. Let's do something like the 15th. Fifteenth seems like a, a reasonable time frame. What did we say it was? 403. Okay, so we want right there. Okay, fair enough. 
Um, 20 tanks by the 15th of May. Yeah, I think that should be fine. All right, click it. So now, so, okay, so now that says the 31st. So that's getting reduced every time to the end of the month of which I actually set it. Right? So from now on, I think I want to drop, like, if I've already got the tanks built, I think I want to drop the amount or the deadline even closer because i could have dropped that down into april and been able to uh get these tanks to them on time okay i'll keep that in mind i'll keep that in mind all right keep it going they have accepted the offer and uh they will now get their tanks immediately let's go to the tank storage ship 20 tanks please uh, we got plenty of time, so there's no reason to hurry and sign the order. Beautiful. All right. Uh, the next question is, we've got our resources coming up soon. Battle of Kam Ombo. Are we being utilized? We are not. How did this one? This one's still ongoing. High intensity combat too, so this will be a real good test. Should be a great, great test of our, our tanks. Battle of lie between the Germans and French have begun. The medium whippet has been engineered. Beautiful. Okay. Um, we've got a ways to go there. The next thing we could do, I kind of want to wait until we get the bolted assembly first, because that adds to our repairability. Cancel. Um, but the other thing we could do would be to change this and come up with a new Mark 1 or a Mark 2 design for this. So if like we go here, we do have um, the RHA steel now, which just ends up adding shock resistance as well as uh, kinetic resistance. Could add ammo stowage to get more ammo inside. Could throw some fuel stowage to get a little bit more operational range. Go with the hall hatch mark two, hall door mark two, and then roof rack still for a little bit of extra defense for the top. Okay, and I think this will be the mark one, mark two. That seems like a pretty solid choice. Save. That should just be a better overall version of this. This is a 319 overall sum, and we have 360 here. This is going to be a little bit heavier, though. And that's that's the, the biggest downside of, of this, going with the, the better steel. It is heavier, but it does add better, better uh, protection. Let's go ahead and assign that, get that built. That'll be 12 days. Uh, the tail wheel is there for two reasons. One is, like, if you're crossing a large trench, it will stop you from falling in and not being able to get back out. And two, it also adds agility points to the tank. So it just makes your tank more agile, which is kind of counterintuitive, I believe. Because if you think about it, 
like it makes your tank longer which means it's less agile because you're you'd be bumping into stuff but but i digress uh in the game it just adds agility and then also uh ends up in the reality it would be there to help you from falling down inside a long trench or a wide trench Okay, it was delayed as expected. Okay, Battle of Izero is done, so we need to check that out. Um, outcome, it was a draw. Interesting. I don't know how it was a draw, but... Um, deployment failure... Uh, plane with roads and towns. How is this, like, a failure? Like, it's roads and towns? Like, this would be the perfect opportunity to showcase our speed. I don't know. This one's weird. Recon is terrible. Targeting was terrible. Hits were good. Ricochet. Apparently we didn't have any of that happen. And then repairs wise. Weird. Okay, fair enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Help! I'm stuck! This is not good. Why is why is the exit button not working? This is the part where I remind everybody that this is a work in progress. Um, and that uh, it's early access. And bugs will be a thing. Alright, well, uh, yeah, I've, tr I've hit the escape key. It's not working either. Alright, um, God, I hope that it's auto saved. It's currently 214 of 1915. We're gonna have to close and reopen and hope. Hope it's saved. If it didn't, I'm gonna cry. Hopefully there's an autosave, boys. Yeah, it is extra weight for sure. Uh, and as we come up with like more nimble designs, it goes away. Okay, we were able to continue, so there is definitely an autosave somewhat. What day is it? Four seven. Uh, okay, the tanks are being shipped, right? Like that's that's what's going on. Okay, let's look at what we can do here. So we have loading speed stations, unloading speed stations, unloading safety, loading safety truck freight, supply, and naval freight. Increases the safety which tanks and commodities are delivered. Increases the... Or no, just uh, contributing to the speed of delivered and dispatched items. So 15% delivery time and supply time. 7% delivery reliability and supply reliability. Okay. Fair enough. Oops, didn't mean to smack y'all. That allows us to store up to 50 tanks. Well, currently we've only stored 20. This increases our resources that we can store by 75,000. 
Let's look at our contracts real quick. So, that is a thing. Let's go to tank storage. Okay, so that's still, that's already working. It's 15 days left. Till the contract completes. Fair enough. I think everything else uh, did our engineering project. I mean, it looks like it's saved. Yeah, that's the Mark 1, Mark 2. Okay. I don't think we lost any progress. Devious new weapon spotted. It is uh, chlorine gas, I'm assuming. Okay. It is the Hector Mark II coming out. Austro-Hungary and Italy. Non-aggression fact. Uh, the Mark I, Mark II engineering project is complete. Fun. Battle of ABBA between British and Belgium has begun. Also, we just finished constructing a building. Alright. Six days until that finishes delivering. Let's check out the battle screen. Um, I'm not going to try to like go into outcome anymore because that seems to be a bad idea. But ABBA is actually using our tanks again. Fair enough. And contract for three, but uh, the third battalion has been completed. Beautiful. All right, the next question is, if we were to go in here, do we want to go ahead and start the next one, which would be this one, which is the Turd Burglar Mark II, or do we wait until we upgrade this thing one more time to have the, like, the Turd Burglar Mark IIA? I think we wait until the Mark IIA, because I would like to have RHA steel components. If we can. We'll see. Alright, let's go to the engineering side. Uh, I want to make the... Um, the Sponson out of RHA steel. And have better doors if we can which we can't okay fair enough so go ahead and get that assigned that'll take five days um is there anything else that we can do i don't think there is yeah we can't do anything here yet um let's go back to the global map i want to see if there's any trophy tanks i don't think there is currently but we'll check. If anybody has any trophy tanks, now would be a good time. Because I would love to buy it. Any trophies? Nope. Any trophies? Nope. Any trophies? Nope. Okay. I think they'll announce if they end up getting a trophy. But just kind of keeping an eye out. I would love to be able to reverse engineer some tanks early on. Because you can get a lot of good stuff that way. Alright. Um. Okay, we're, we're currently doing that. That's fine. 27 days until we finish that. We are coming up on the end of April. I think I'm going to build one more set of the Mark 1As. So this should be the Mark 1A. Let's build 20 more of these. Because we know that they sell like hotcakes. So let's get that 
get that assigned. Um, it'll take 18 days to build. But I feel like that would be a good idea for us. Just had them there. We can always sell them. Like, everybody's going to want them. Um, or at least Britain seems to want them. So, we will do that. We have 1,600 days left to pay off the loan. Uh, five days, 27 days. Let's keep it going. Okay, rival tank captured. This is exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Let's go... Uh, Let's go purchase a trophy. Man, it's like they heard me. It's like they heard me. Oh, no. That was weird. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, that that's, uh, that's a bug. Okay, hold that thought. Let's try this again, shall we? There seems to be an oopsie. Try this again, shall we? Okay, so we are encountering a fatal error. The opponent tank Fenrir Aus FA not found in asset map. Please check it. So again, this is early access. Um, I will I will point the developers to this stream as well so that they can kind of see what I'm talking about, um, so that they can they can fix whatever whatever's going on here. But uh, yeah, we have two two Fenrirs. Neither of them we can buy because it doesn't have it available. So, definitely something going on there. Uh, that's real unfortunate, because that's potential huge advancement in our technology that we're missing out on. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, keep it going. Unfortunate. The new cavalry tank, the Tier Os A. Okay. Alright, production has been completed of the 20 Turd Burglar Mark 1 A's. Love it. Nine days until the bolted assembly finishes. Battle of ABBA and Britain has concluded. The battle uh, after fierce combat, no matter the odds. 50 West Flanders division showed to be superior. Huh? Are you saying we lost? No, it was draw. Weird. Okay. Alright, two days left until we finish the research project for bolted assembly. Now that that's done, I want to go for um let's see i think honestly we could go improved medium haul right out the gate. Um, that would take us 73 days. I don't really feel like doing that. Let's go for... This will take 71 days. And gets us our V-shaped 12 cylinder. We're getting a V-12 put in this thing. Let's go. I'm all excited about that. Let's go. Uh, the other things we need to start looking at is improved running gears as well. So we need to get these going. How long will these take? nine days get it done just just get it done improve the high pass running gear then we'll get the low pass running gear um and try to go from there since they won't take that long and then we also need to get into firepower we need to get the uh, solid shot rounds uh upgrade to light machine guns tracers that sort of thing all right Um, engineering side of things. We did just finish. We finished the Mark 1, Mark 2. But, oh, that's what we did. We need to go into, um. Uh, 
um, the Mark I series. Uh, we want to use the RHA steel, but with bolted assembly this time. Repairability actually, or the structure goes down. So the reliability goes down. But the repairability goes way up. Also, crew safety goes up. So this is definitely worth it. So bolted assembly. Even if we lose a little bit of reliability, repairability goes up. Okay, and then if we go to this, we can actually get rid of this to save some weight. So we'll go to the Mark 1, Mark 3, and then assign that. So it is cheaper to manufacture because it doesn't have that on the back. Okay, that'll take 11 days. All right, keep it going or get some more material. Getting some more materials would probably be a good idea at this point. Let's grab this. Let's go for another 26. Asia. Sign the order. Get that done. Of course, it's going to be late. It's always late. Okay, improved high pass running gear is done. Beautiful. Uh, if we go back to mobility, we should be able to grab the low pass running gear. That'll be nine days. Won't take any time at all to finish that. Oh, okay, so you can actually just select between them by clicking these as well. Interesting. Okay. So that'll take nine days. We'll get that done pretty quickly. Hopefully we'll get a contract soon for some more of our tanks that we already have built. The Mark I, Mark III haul has been finished. Battle of Bondo between the British and the Belgians has begun. Are they using our tanks? They are using our tanks. Beautiful. It is plain railways, rural, and medium intensity. Okay. All right. Uh, engineering team, we need to go in here. We need to get um, this built out of the bolted assembly. Okay, assign it. So that'll be the Mark III version. Everything else I think is fine. Running gear, we did, uh, or we are working on running gear. I don't remember getting the Warhorse running gear. I guess that's the improved running gear. Versus this. Interesting. Okay. Well, for now, I think we hold off on that.
go back here. What up, Joseph? Appreciate you dropping in. Good, good to see you. Long time no see. Okay, the male sponson has been completed. Okay, two days to finish the next research project. That's done. Okay, so do we go improved medium haul? I mean, if we go for the extended rhomboidal haul, that's going to take 79 days. This will take 73 days. Let's take 13 to get the solid shot rounds. 10 days to get the new light machine gun. 10 days. All right, let's just get through this first section of these. Um, and then we will go for the V12. All right. Um, in terms of tracks, we should now have the Whippet tracks as well. So we have the Idler Mark 3s. So 322, 112, 232. Two, two. So this has a little bit more range. But the other gives us a little more agility, so agility seems like a good idea for a small tank. That's all we got there. Sprocket Mark III, again, agility. Um, lower speed, though. So do we take... Okay, we, we get a lot of road speed, though. Okay, I think this would be a good idea. Okay, we'll just keep that. Sprung rollers, that's all we got. And then we can throw these in there for some good extras. Which gives us a little bit obstacle step height, obstacle slope angle, and running gear repairability or reliability. Okay. I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and get that assigned. It'll take eight days for them to engineer. Why not upgrade the engineering? Um, we do have the ability, but most of the engineering projects don't take that long. Ergonomics allows 10 extra engineers. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll start that. That'll be 60 days. Um, Reverse Engineering Bureau also seems like something we could go for, because we're starting to get into that. Other than that, I think we're okay. Yeah, everything else has already finished its trials. Okay. Speed up time. The battle of calm between Ottomans and the British has concluded. The Whippet Mark I has been officially engineered. Okay. Have we already come up with the, uh, the hull for that little tank? Okay, it's got RHA steel, but it's riveted. We could go with, uh... RHA steel and bolted assembly now. Okay. Let's go ahead and assign. That'll take nine days. The Athena Mark III has been unveiled. Okay. Heavy artillery. 
That's not good. Alright. We have finished the solid tank rounds. Um, do we go tracers or do we go light machine gun first? Okay, this is 15, 101, 10, and 10. Versus 15, 74, 8, and 8. So it's just better across the board. So probably should go for this. Yeah, let's get it done. 10 days. As soon as we finish the engineering project we're currently working on, we should be able to, uh... Okay, British and Ottoman Empire, new battle. Okay, still not being used outside of the Belgian War. Okay. So what did we just finish here? Forget. I forget what we were actually just working on. The heck did we just finish? It was in firepower. Okay, we got solid shot. That's what we worked on. So now we're working on this. Okay. Alright, so... Um... That's going to be a consumable, so that'll be on our next design of a tank. So I just kind of want to wait until we get this. I've been holding on to these tanks for a while, so I'm hoping a contract will come up real soon. Wow! That was <laughs> I swear this game is listening to me! Okay, they want 20 new tanks uh, for their Vanguard tanks for the 4th fourth, fourth Battalion. Okay. Let's... uh check that out shall we so it's currently the 24th so we can assume that this will end on this month so we already have the the tanks available if i'm correct we need double say yeah so we have we have 20 tanks ready to go um if we were to ship them out uh using the slowest method possible uh that would be eight days with a potential of a what Okay, we'll just assume, I think it was 12 days, so we'll just assume it's a 20 day wait. So, we'll go for like, the 25th of uh, July. Alright, let's go contracts. Go here. Select our Mark 1A again. Um, the enemy has a 405 score. Okay, um, we can deliver these around, uh, just to be safe, we'll go for 731, and then we can bump up the score, or bump up the price, there we go, all right. That'll be $837,000. Make it a thing. So it'll be done. Yeah, so it is. It'll finish a couple of days after you submit your, your offer. Good. Good, 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 good. I like that. All right. So with that... We got five days for the research project. Battle of Gundi, or Gaundi, between the German and the French. Okay. Battle of Bondo has concluded. Um, 17th Walloon. Belgium has seized the battlefield. Weird. The British need to come up with a better strategy. New non-aggression pact between Belgium and Norway. Our contract has been accepted, so now we can go ahead and ship those tanks out immediately. 
20 of them. Using Ryder and Co. It will be potentially a 14 day delay. So 8 plus 14 would be 22. I lied. 24. No, I'm right. 22. So, yeah. So we're fine. We got plenty of time. No problem. Get it done. I'm assuming there will be a delay on that. Uh, eight days until new resources get here as well. Uh, research project. We just finished the light machine gun. Could go with improved common round. That will take 15 days, so that won't be too bad, but that's HE Mark II. Or we go with tracers. I think tracers would be a good thing. That's 10 days. Let's get those. Getting tracers probably going to be a good thing. And then obviously we'll upgrade the uh, high explosive. Um, and then we will go for the V12. Because the V12 is going to take time. What up, Harmful? Which ship would I recommend getting first? Kansas or Vladivostok? Kansas. Not even a question. Vladi is a great ship, but uh, takes a lot more um, effort to make make fun, and it's not as reliable due to the fact that, like, the game, it, it's got a very specific play style, it, and it's hard. It doesn't always end up in that play style. Whereas Kansas can literally play anything. Like, it, it's just that good. Kansas is very reliable, so Kansas would be the easier choice. If you want a challenge, go Vladdy. What up, Shadow? Alright, let's keep it going. Ten days left there, and uh, we're not currently researching anything. Did we... We need to do the gun, right? Alright, uh, the gun. Should have a little sidearm here. We do have the, the Lewis and the Hotchkiss. Okay. So, what I actually want is to get the best out of these. So what I'm thinking is we go with the Hotchkiss and then we adjust different parts to make them a little bit more useful. So this is currently a belt fed, it looks like, a side feed. Uh, we'll see what we can do with this. So barrel wise, we have the Mark II, which is uh, a little heavier. Has a two rate of fire, a one secondary weapon and a two accuracy. So it's just faster firing. Okay, fair enough. Um, the barrel is same weight, but offers double the range. Is a four, so more reliable. And then same accuracy, so the barrel just makes sense. Um, magazine Mark II or Magazine Mark IV? Obviously, we have anti-ricochet, four versus five. Uh, we have a 5 damage versus 4. And a 4 rate of fire versus 4 rate of fire. So I think we go with the magazine Mark IV. And then in terms of the stock. We are, we are up in this thing. Good lord. We are the stock. That is the thing. Okay, so the stock is stock mark two. Uh, we got a two gun elevation, two gun depression. So yeah, that's just better. So we'll go with that. So the, basically the only thing we ended up changing was the magazine. So we will go ahead and assign that. So that gives us a little bit better version of the gun. It'll take two days to design. What up, Reed? PT boats? God help us. Can you imagine how close a PT boat would be able to get to you before it gets spotted if torpedo or if like destroyers don't get spotted until they're right on top of you? <laughs> Good lord. Trying to trying to make us die out here. All right, well, we're, okay, two days there, ten days there. Okay, the Hotchkiss is done. Uh, we're, 
getting kind of low. Oh, we do have the contract coming up, though, so. We will have plenty of money. New alliance between the Austro-Hungarian, or Hungarians and the Spanish. Contract has been completed. Beautiful. So we now have made money. Love it. Okay, research production. Our research bureau is two days out. Okay, back in here. Let's get that... Uh, Improved high explosive going. It will take 15 days. Just trying to knock out some of the quick stuff real quick. Um, that was tracers, so we don't need to we don't need to engineer those. That's consumable. Um, yeah, I think we're okay for the moment. It's been a while since we've designed a tank, but we're coming up, I swear. I just want to make sure that it's the best tank ever designed. Battle of Gandhi or Gundi, Gandhi between German and France has concluded. Fair. Battle of Minya and between the Ottomans and the British has something concluded. Dude, the British are getting their butts kicked everywhere. They seriously need to rethink what they're doing. German and France has begun. Okay, improved common rounds are finished. All right, now it's time to get that V12. All right. Um... I say V12. What about this? How long? This would take 36 days to get the new new gun. Okay, 109, 7, and 10 versus 124, 10, and 13. I mean, this is just better all around. I mean, I think we hold off. I, I want to get that V12. Get the V12 going. 71 days. Make it happen. No regrets. All of the engine. Can I build the medium tank yet? Technically, yes. Um, we can check it out. I uh, We do have the like better machine guns and stuff as well. So we can come up with a design and see. But it's probably not going to be that great. So if we go in here. Um, we should be able to create a medium whippet series utilizing our mark II hull uh, engine wise I mean this is the the thing about the engine like we have the twin four cylinder which weighs 1938 151-153. So this weighs a lot less and is only two points lower than this. But this requires more crew. Alright, let's go with the let's go with the six cylinder. Tracks wise, we do have the Whippet Mark Ones. Get that in there. Remember, this is the front, by the way. This this back here is the back. So this is the front. You're actually shooting out over your engine. Um, in terms of guns... We don't actually have a main gun that is capable of fitting on this tank. Uh, we do have our Hotchkiss. We're going to go with the Mark II Hotchkiss. Um, 
So we want them over the sides. Or do we want to seal the sides? I think we seal the sides. And then have a Hotchkiss in the front and rear. And see what we can get away with there. Because we can turn the tanks to shoot out the sides. <sighs> let's, let's try it. Let's see what this gives us. In terms of requirements so we currently have a requirement for eight gunner and four uh, zero loaders okay let's look at crew and see if we can make this work if we can make this work great so the driver would have to be driver mechanic as always um, commander would be commander gunner gunner would be gunner because we don't need a loader. But yeah, so as you can see, we're starting to run into issues with space. And as soon as you start running into issues with space, you're screwed. So yeah, having the extra guns is is not ideal. All right, let's 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 get rid of it. It was a thought. Okay. Selected crew. Let's see what we got. So we have driver mechanic. We have commander. We have... Gunner mechanic. That gets us what we need. But that's still... Still puts us over our limit. How can we do this? So we can have a commander gunner. Yo, Ninetail with the five pound. Thank you so much, my dude. Also, Kenny, good to see you. Lori, appreciate you dropping in. Uh, we don't have the V engine yet. We got we to gotta wait until that comes on. Um... So if we go like Commander Gunner, that gives that fulfills that. The one thing we're missing is we have Driver Mechanic. See, this is the problem with these small tanks. Like, I don't have a choice. I need a third person to fulfill the uh, mechanic role. So I would need a Mechanic Gunner or a... Uh, yeah. And the problem there becomes the safety issue. See what I'm saying? Look like look how much it goes down because we add an extra person. Yeah, I just don't think the medium tank is going to work out. It's too small. It was a thought. It's too small. Scrap it. Maybe I can make a tank emoji? Uh, possibly. I mean, we do have some extra emojis that we, I need to, like, design. I've been kind of sleeping on. But yeah, that, that medium tank is just not going to work out. It's just too small. We, if we add a third person, it just destroys the stats of the tank, and it's just not worth it.
Can we get this yet? No. All right, so... 71 days until that finishes. If we do want to design a new tank... We could come up with... Okay, I got an idea. Let's, let's come up with a new design for a tank using the Mark III hull. Um, we will use the new Mark III sponsor, the Hotchkiss six-pounder, but also the Hotchkiss Mark II belt-fed machine guns. And then in terms of the engines, we do have the Ricardo six-cylinder that we've built. So we'll use that. And then for tracks, we do have the Warhorse tracks, which should be a, able to be used. Am I dumb? I think we need to go to the design. I clicked the wrong thing. We need to make the design. Yeah, I, I want to come up with a logo for the Elite Armor Solutions if this is going to catch on on the channel. We'll have to find out. But let's create a new uh, Mark I series. It'll be the Mark III. Um, the engine will be the Ricardo six-cylinder. The... Um, be the War Horse... This will be the Sponson 3. This will be the Armored Plate. Then we have the Hotchkiss 6 pounder and the Hotchkiss Mark II belt fed machine gun. Beautiful. All right, selected crew. So, Commander Gunner, as always. Driver Mechanic, as always. Gunner Loader, as always. And Mechanic, just regular. That is actually more mechanics than we need. Okay, so we can get away with swapping our Mechanic with a Mechanic Gunner. Or a Mechanic Loader. Which gives us our best? Does it change any of our stats? I don't think it does. I think these are all hard, hard uh, stats. Okay, it actually does change. So if we go to Gunner, that increases our uh, accuracy by one. Or our reload rate of fire by one. I think accuracy probably be better. So we'll go with that. Okay. And that meets all of these as needed. Conversely, we could take the Commander Gunner and just make him a commander. That increases our awareness, assuming. Yeah, so that gives us an 8 in crew awareness. Also, crew aiming is better. Safety is better. So, yeah, having him as just a commander seems like the better option. So, we'll go with that. Um, driver mechanic, can we just drop him as to be a driver? Just straight up driver. 
No, that puts us underneath the limit. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Everything else is fine. Beautiful. Expendables. So we have uh, AP Mark 1. We have HE Mark 2. Um, for the belt fed machine gun, we are going to have tracer ammo. It does a little bit less damage though. So I think we have tracers and regular. And then for the fuel, obviously we're going petrol 50. What is this? 15 versus 10, 2 versus 2, 3 versus 2, 20 versus 15. So yeah, the HE Mark II is just better. We don't need to do anything there. This will keep the default paint. Uh, and this will be the Turd Burglar. Mark 3. Alright. Assign. Why not wait on the V12? Uh, it's just going to take too long. I want to get a new design going. Plus, I'm not sure that these tracks would be able to hold the, the weight. These are capable of 34,000 tons and we're already stressing them. With this, the V12 is going to be even heavier, I would assume. Um, so it'll probably have to wait for the bigger chassis and tracks. But it'll take 30 days to design this tank. We got 71 days until the research bureau is done there. Uh, do we have tanks on hold? Like, I don't know if we have any. Do we, we have no current tanks. Yeah, 0, 050. I need to keep seeing that when I'm looking for that, so... 0 of 50. Okay, so... I know I say I shouldn't. Uh, let's go ahead and order... Order more supplies real quick. Uh, for the Turd Burglar Mark 1A. 20. Uh, let's go for 26 again. Uh, from Asia, sign the order. What up, Kobe? Should you drop a bomb? I mean, you're asking me if you should drop a bomb. I would say no, but, uh, I mean, it's it's up to you. Do what you got to do. I appreciate you. What up, Breston? Uh, let's see. Thirty days until the new tank is designed. Kobe coming in re-upping for ten months and Ladizo. I apologize. Ladizo. Re-upping for eight months. Thank you both so much. And uh, get some goats in the chat for everybody today. I do appreciate it, guys. I know I forgot to say get some goats in the chat for Nine Tail as well, so. Oh my god! <laughs> You weren't kidding about a bomb. Good lord. Kobe dropping a $50 bomb out of nowhere with 50 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, my dude. That came out of nowhere. I say it came out of nowhere. You said you were going to drop a bomb. You weren't joking. You were definitely not joking, my dude. All the goats in the chat. Thank you guys so much, man. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's go ahead and build. I said, I think this will be the last run of the Mark 1As. But they keep selling, so I keep wanting to build them. Because they can build quickly. So let's just go ahead and assign that. That'll take 18 days, obviously. Get that done. But thank you so much, Kobe. Appreciate you, man. Absolute legend. Military campaign in Baraku between Italy and France has started. Uh-oh. Or Borku. Borko. New trade agreement between Switzerland and Denmark. Battle of Beni Souf between Ottoman Empire and British has begun. Are they using our tanks? No. Fair enough.
Battle of Kikinda between Austro-Hungary and Serbia has begun. New trade agreement between Romania and Belgium, as well as our new building. That is our reverse engineering bureau. Right. Keep it going. New military equipment available. Uh, the British Empire has rearmed its artillery with uh, the Holt 75 tractor as a result of increased military funding. Okay. Battle of Chiave between Italy and France has begun. The new resources have arrived as well. Beautiful. Right. Oh, keep it going. New non aggression treaty between Liberia and Bulgaria. And the Turb Burglar Mark 1A20 tanks have finished their production. Beautiful. Are there any contracts? Contracts? No contracts. Battle between or Battle of Kiabe has finished. Dragons of old. Just as previous reports pointed to new weapons being deployed a few months ago, yet again the enemy deploys cunning brutality. Huge gouts of flames sprayed into trench lines send men running for their very lives. The flamethrower is not a new weapon, having seen use in more crude forms during the siege of Port Arthur by the Japanese. Even tanks are not safe from these dragons with impressive displays of tracked vehicles covered in flames to force the crews to flee. That is terrifying. Uh, armored car has been uh, introduced. Okay. All right, Turd Burglar Mark III has finished. Let's take this thing out, shall we? Oops. Switch to the second gun. We should have better gun elevation and depression now as well. Also, I feel like this is the wrong tank. This is the Turd Burglar Mark II. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong tank. Pinned the gun. Gun got stuck on the bridge. So this is not the newest version. So we, we want to get the Mark III tested as well. I, I kind of goofed. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and quit that. Because there's no reason to test the Mark II. We're not going to be using it. We're only going to be using the Mark III. This is the one we want to test. Start. The Mark III is the one we want to test. There we go. Much better looking tank. All right. Let's go switch to the front gun. No giant wheel sticking off the back. Just looks better. Also, it's got the fancy new tracks. As we just tear through the trenches. Look at that. Let's 
clutch brake. Let's go. Keep it rolling. Whoops. Wrong button. I hit the wrong button. There we go. Oh yeah, this new, the new Hotchkiss uh, light machine gun is much better than the previous machine gun. Much better. Better rate of fire, better accuracy, just, just better. Longer range. Okay, a little slow going up the hill, but still made it. Probably due to the increased weight. We are pretty heavy. Extra, extra armor, so a little bit heavier. To be expected. Beautiful. Please don't roll. Okay, go forward then. There we go. Let's get out of here. What up, AZ? Good to see you. Appreciate you dropping in. Hope you're having a great day. Not our fastest run we've ever done, but overall I feel like the tank is performing pretty well. I, li I like the new machine gun for sure. Still gets over the trenches just fine, no problem. And it definitely looks better than the previous version. Still able to snipe it. And down we go. Beautiful. All right. I think the Turd Burglar Mark III is going to be the, uh, you know, top of the line Turd Burglar, if you know what I mean. I think that was a pretty solid showing for the Turd Burglar Mark III. Get that uh, to finish its trials. Speed up time again. Um... We got 41 days until the engine, the new V12 is done. Battle of Mor uh, Musaro between Italy and France has begun. You're sick? Ah, sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you get feeling better soon. Been a lot of sickness going around lately. Been a lot of people getting sick. My sister's been sick. Her kids have been sick. Dad's been sick. Uh, 75 millimeter MLE artillery has been built for France. That's a little scary. New non-aggression treaty between Romania and Sweden. British Empire uh, announces a new contract. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do that. So the Mark 1A is the one that we've already got. Um, competitor can get up to 412. Okay. Uh, it is currently 922, so we are capable of delivering. We've already got them done. 
So we'll just say that we're capable of delivering them by the end of October. So we'll do like 1029. And then we can increase the score or the uh, amount that we're selling them for. I think it was 411, 412. Okay, so we win that. Beautiful. Get it done. All right. So that should be the last batch of the Mark 1As that we end up building. Um, we can go ahead and bring in new materials. Um, let's go ahead and go for 20 of the Mark 3s. So if we go to Asia, we can, in fact, order enough to get 20 of the Mark 3s. Not enough warehouse warehouse oh we we have too much capacity okay fair enough fair enough we can hold all right well in that case uh we speed up time campaign between uh greece and albania battle of uh, okay has concluded and contract has been accepted um, let's go in and sell or ship our tanks immediately. So we will be shipping 20 by Ryder and Co. Get it done. Pretty happy with our progress so far. Feel like we've done quite well for ourselves. Seven days until we get the V12. Can't wait to see what that's like. Her burglar uh, predicted balance. We are getting low, but again, not that big a deal because we are about to have some new stuff. Battle of Beni Souf. Okay. Are they using our tanks in that battle? Does not appear so. Okay, fair enough. Battle of Gauz. Okay. Or Goes. The V shape engine has been concluded. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got for our next project. If we go mobility, we could get the enhanced high pass running gears. Um, that will take 70 days though. I kind of want to get a new new big gun. This would take 40 or 39 days. This will take 36. So I think we go for the bigger gun here. Let's get the new Hotchkiss big gun. Yeah, let's go for it. And then in terms of structure. What's the next thing? We've got the improved medium hall, the extended rhomboidal hall. That'll probably be where we go next. Because I don't think that our medium tank is going to be potentially like the way to go. We'll see. We'll see how we go. This would take, what, 73 days? 79 days? So yeah, both of those are going to take a moment. Fair enough. What up, Zen? Palakai, good to see you guys. Also, K Kobe, you're still here, right? You didn't leave chat? I didn't get to see you, like, if you typed anything in the whole, like, gift train that you did. But thank you so much, my dude. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Don't forget, if you guys enjoy this as much as I do, a nice chill stream where we just get to relax and have a good time together... Please punch that like button. It does help on small series like this. All right. Uh, so that's being researched. We do have the engine. So let's go in here and get the uh, new V V engine being produced. We have the Liberty V-shape engine. Look at this V12, baby. V12. Talk about an early V12. Good Lord. Look how tall those cylinders are. <laughs> that is a uh, stroker of an engine if I've ever seen one. There should be plenty of torque. Plenty of torque. All right, let's see what we got. So for side brakes, it's the side brake Mark IV, uh, which is 4, 5, 4, and 2. So not as sneaky, but just better overall than everything else. So it makes sense to keep those. For the flywheel, we've got the flywheel Mark IV, which is 4, 4, 3, 2. 
which again is just better overall so no reason not to carburetor mark three is a three three two instead of a two 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 so it's slightly better it is a lot more expensive that's for sure okay radiator mark four is a nine two three and a five so still not quite as good there, but the overall is the biggest one is the obstacle slope angle that we're able to do. It's huge. Huge. Fair enough. And transmission mark four, are you just, yeah, you're just heads over heels better. Beautiful. All right, well, we're going with the, okay, beautiful. Uh, let's assign it, get it done. That's going to take 11 days to design, but we now officially have a V12 engine. Got a lot of free time. I hear you there, man. It sucks being sick, though, man. It really does. All right. Uh, everything else, we are ready, I think. Just keep on a trucking. Battle for Kumra between Germany and France has concluded. Battle of Asyut between the Ottoman Empire and British has begun. Are you using my tanks? No. Then te then I don't need to know about it. All right, the V12 has officially been built. I do kind of want to build a new. Uh... I said the Mark III was going to be like the the quintessential piece, but I do want to build the uh, Mark IV. Okay, so we will create a design. It'll be this plus our V-shape engine. I lied. Apparently, we cannot put a V-shape engine in this hall. That's what I was concerned with. It's, it's too small. It's too small. All right, well, never mind. We can't do that. I wonder, actually... I know that it was too small for the, the bigger tank. But remember, there's a lot more engine room in this. Can you put the freaking V12? No. Eh, shame. Shame, but not unexpected. Okay, so yeah, the V12 is going to have to wait till we get the extended rhomboidal hull, I think. But that's fine. We've got uh, the light naval gun coming up first, and then we'll go for the bigger haul. Military campaign in Chari between the Germans and France. Okay. Uh, contract has been completed. We are rich once again. You'll love to see it. The 5th Battalion is equipped with as many of your tanks that you managed to deliver. Beautiful. Uh, there's no new contracts. I really would... Whoops. That is the wrong button. I did not mean to click that one. I meant to click this one. Uh, that being said, we do have space for more engineers. So uh, let's hire another 30 engineers. Because we can. Um, are there any other available? There is not. Okay. How is our loan doing? Four years and 11 months until it is finished being paid off. Um, it's currently costing us $10,000 a month. We don't know when our next contract is going to be. Do we repay the loan now? We have the money. It'll still leave us with over a million dollars. We have plenty of resources for another group of tanks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Like, if I were to repay this... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just repay the loan. Payoff comes at a small extra speed or extra on top of the loan. So amount of money for full repayment is only four hundred and seventy-five thousand um, dollars. Yeah, I think we I think we just go for that. Go ahead and pay it. So we don't currently have a loan. We're at one point two million dollars. Um, I do think we want to go ahead and build some of our Mark Threes. I think it's time. So let's go ahead and do that. We will uh, set the Mark III to being the... Or do we wait? So this would be the Mark III. Do we wait until we get the Mark III-A? Because the Mark III-A would come with the better gun. Like we would replace this gun. How long before that becomes a possibility? 22 days. Let's wait until we get the Mark 3A, and then we will start building them. I think that's the best bet. Can you do any reverse engineering? Uh, technically, I'm supposed to be able to, but unfortunately, what happened is a bug. So the British Empire currently has a trophy tank, but as you can see, it's bugged out. I can't actually do anything with it. So it's unfortunate, and nobody else currently has any... Well, they do have trophies available, but again, it's just bugged everywhere. Every country has the same tank and it's bugged. So, I don't know. It, it is an early access game. But uh, definitely something going on with the reverse engineering in the game. Breston and I are on the same page. I like that. So, we have paid off our loan. We have $1.2 million left. So, we're good there. 22 days until we finish the gun project. Trench sets issued to the front. Not content anymore with spark transmitters used in aircrafts, the British has deployed thousands of what they call the trench set Mark I radio. Okay. Battle of Santarim between Spain and Portugal. New alliance between the British Empire and the German Empire. That's a little sketch. Battle of Narvik between Sweden and Norway. The Battle of Isu between Spain and Portugal. Man, there's a lot of battles going on. New military equipment available. Uh, the Pioneer Axe. Okay. Interesting. Battle of Gozbida between Italy and France is concluded. Pioneer Axe to the Germans. Beautiful. All right. Next project. We have officially done the firepower that we wanted. Um, this would take 48 days to do the improved naval gun. This is the light naval gun. The light na Oh, I forgot. The light naval gun is actually like... So that's 124 versus 109. I mean, technically it is better... Than the original. Whoops. Quit looking at the wrong thing. Um, Fifteen, fourteen, and twelve. Twenty-four, thirteen. So not quite as long a range. Thirteen and sixteen. So the gun elevation and depression should be better. Yeah. A little bit okay um i think we want to go for the uh, uh, improved or the extended rhomboidal hull i think that'll be a big deal so this is the mark five it's going to take 79 days though let's get that going And in terms of mobility, the next thing we would want to look at is the improved low-pass running gear. 
and extended high pass running gear. We got to get those done because before we even get the extended rhomboidal hull uh, to work. Actually, can we go ahead and quit that and actually go for these? I forgot. We got to have these anyway. So let's just get them done. They're not going to take as long. We can get probably both of these done in the time it takes to get the, the hull. So we can get that done. Um, yeah, because we need this particular running gear for that, that haul. All right. And I think we go ahead and... Let's check out the design and see if we can mount that and if it would be better. So if we go to create a new design here and we use everything that we've already already used. So like gotta do that, that. Oh, we got a we got a freaking engineer at first. I forgot. Uh, let's not save it. I forgot we got an engineer at first. All right, so this is the three pounder. So the breach mark two gives us seven, four, four, and six. So it's not able to elevate or depress as much. Or it depresses a little bit more, but doesn't elevate as much. But it is better rate of fire. Or no, it does. Okay. It elevates. And this is just the primary reliability. So it's a little bit more reliable. Okay. What about this? Anything? So, one, two, three. So, slightly less range with the optics. But it has better anti-ricochet. And better accuracy. So, optics two is better. Um, even, despite having less range. And the pivoting seat is all we have. Uh, recoil cylinder, five, four, three. Three, three, four. So again, gun elevation, not quite as good, but better reliability or repairability and rate of fire. And then the recoil guard, two, three, three, two. So again, gun depression is worse in this sense, but gun elevation is better. And we already know we need more elevation anyway. All right, let's get that. Get that built. We didn't end up changing anything on this. It's going to take five days. And then we will come up with the uh, Mark 3A. Battle of Pekin between Greece and Albania. Hotchiest 3-pounder is done. Okay, let's go ahead and do a design. The Mark 3A. Whoops, wrong one. So we want the Mark 3, we want the Ricardo, we want the Warhorse, Mark 3, armored plate, the Hotchkiss 3 pounder. And then the Hotchkiss Mark II. Selected crew. We want commander. Driver. Gunner loader. And mechanic. That gets us everything we need. All in a nice neat little package. 
expendables. We are going to be using armor piercing, high explosive 2, uh, tracer, as well as standard ammo. And we will have the 50 octane fuel with the standard. And this will be the turd burglar. Mark 3 Alpha. Assign. It's going to take 29 days. Stop reading your mind. I know, right? Very fiscally responsible. Let nobody, let nobody tell you that here at Elite Armored Solutions, we are not penny pinchers. We will cut corners where necessary, but we, we will not... Or, or should we go with the, the Lannister motto? Here at Elite Armor Solutions, we always pay our debts. Okay. Don't care. Next. Don't care. Next. Battle of Sohag between the Ottoman Empire and British Empire has begun. Are you using my tanks? You are not. Dang it. Next. Battle of Biltine between Italy and France has concluded. Battle of Subnautica, I mean Subotica, <laughs> between Austro-Hungarian and Serbia has begun. New tank revealed. It is the Isus MLE-1. Okay. Battle between a uh, battle of Ati between Italy and France. France. All right. Next, we want the um, mobility. We want this particular tank track. It's going to take forty-four days. So get it done. All right. Then we can get our um, extended rhomboidal hull, I think. All right. One more day until the new tank design is finished. All right, let's get it in testing. It is the Mark 3A. Start the testing, please. All right, go forward. Switch to secondary armor, armament. Over the first trench, no problem. Beautiful. Up the wall. No prop. Round the corner. Boy, I didn't want to do that, did it? Whoa, there, killer. She's a little squirrely. going okay snipe little slot really game there we go 
A little sloppy there. Try to go too fast, I think. Can just cut through here, I think. Oh my god, there's a tree in the way. I didn't see the tree until it was too late. Oh god. Turns out, we are very good at uh, navigating obstacles. <laughs> Darn near flipped the tank on its head. But we didn't. Showcasing the um, stability of our, our tanks. Any other lesser tank would have just flipped over on its head. Also, I totally spelled this design wrong. I called it the tur Turd Burraguller. I'm a, I'm a dumb. Uh-oh. Hello? You better get up that hill. Get up the hill! Up the hill! What the hell? The gun should be lighter than the previous gun. I don't know how this is worse. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think there's still a glitch right there on that, that hill that just, like, catches your tank. It's weird. Because it seems to be, like, the only place that it does it on the course. We got them all. What up, Rundell? Appreciate you dropping in. Oh, shite! Thank God you called that out. I wouldn't have been able to finish this without it. How the hell did we miss that? All right, go back and get out of here. Thank you for calling that out. How did we miss that? I gotta stop speed running and just complete the course the correct way. It's ridiculous. See, it gets out of this side just fine. It's the other side that's the problem. Disaster averted. Here at Elite Armor Solutions, no one will ever say we are not thorough. Our rigorous testing makes sure that any weak points are addressed long before the customer ever finds them. See, look, now I got right up the hill. There's, there's something weird there that it, like, grabs a hold of you. All right, well, we already did that, so we should be able to just go... Shit. Never mind. Still gotta go up here again. Get up the hill! 
Got it. Look at that freaking turning radius, though. Not bad. But, uh, thank you guys for uh, keeping me on track. What would I do without y'all? Our panel of expert judges always make sure that every exercise is performed to the highest standards. Just casually like sliding over the thing. Also, I've got like a really bad case of tinnitus that just kicked in. Got this nasty like ringing in my right ear. Beautiful. Done. Uh, further testing at the proving grounds, please. All right. New non-aggression pact between France and Germany. Good luck with that. Can't see how that could possibly backfire. Okay. Let's get these things being built. The Turd Burglar Mark 3A. Talking head coming in re-upping for one month. Thank you so much, my dude. Get a goat in the chat for Mr. Talking Head. Welcome to the stream, man. All right, we will go ahead and build 20 of these. It will take 22 days to build because they do have to retool some of the uh, some of the the equipment. Okay. And a sign. Get it done. All right, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and order some more resources. So let's go ahead and go for the uh, Turd Burglar Mark 3A. We want to build 20 of them. So Asia, sign the order. Thank you very much. Hopefully there'll be a new contract coming up here not too long. Battle of uh, Moirana, Sweden and Norway. New alliance between Liberia and Denmark. Battle of Asu between Spain and Portugal. New Army Corps combat engineers for France. Ottoman Empire in Greece has ended. Battle of Namur between France and Belgium. Battle of Versac between Austro-Hungary and Serbia. Battle of Polican between Greece and Albania. There are a lot of pop-ups in this game. I think uh, if, if I had to say anything, I would say that one of the things they need to start looking at would be to reduce the amount of pop-ups that aren't directly like related to something that you're doing. New tank revealed for uh, the Hector Mark III. Okay. A little behind the times. Okay, our 20 Mark III-As have been built and are ready to ship. We are 17 days away from our research project as well. From Battle of Caldas de Reina. Oh, I don't know. Screw it. Battle of Sohag between the Ottomans and the British. Are they using our stuff? Doubtful. Oh, actually, they are using our stuff. 
for the first time, were being used in Africa. They have 10,000 men versus 20 of our Turd Burglar Mark 1As, 24 artillery, 1,500 cavalry, and 10,000 soldiers. I feel like this is a bit overkill, but uh, high, uh, medium intensity on desert conditions with roads and towns. How are we doing in terms of our uh, thing? We're up to 10,000, so we're about a third of the way to our first achievement in the game. Okay. Battle of Lisbon between Spain and Portugal. Battle of Abi Adi. Fair enough. I'm afraid to click the outcome, I'll be real honest. But I do kind of, it's a draw. How is that a draw? Dude, Great Britain, I need to talk to your, your head of your military. How the heck can you have 20 tanks, 24 artillery, 1,500 cavalry, and the same amount of troops as the enemy, and you still lose? Or don't manage to win, I should say. They didn't lose, they just didn't win. Like, how is that possible? Though the performance of our tanks is in the field is acceptable, it falls short of the excellence we strive for. Really? Deployment score was minus one. Why? We had a minus eight to running gear. Hmm. Okay. So definitely need to get that. Don't worry, we have new things coming up. Just hold your britches. New new great technologies are on the way, I promise. That a lot of your concerns will be addressed in the uh, upcoming new tank that you can spend a lot of money on for me. Did you do contract number six? Yes, we have already, uh... <gasps> no, we did not. Uh, what is this? We we can mark three alpha. Right? This is the mark three alpha? Yes, mark three alpha. Alright, it is... Look, just this tank alone has a success score of 756 before we even get into the, the rest of it. Um, so they want this by... See, it is currently January, so we can do this by like late February, no problem. We'll just say, like, February 20th seems like a, a solid, solid date. And then we can move this up. What is the competitor offering? 401. Psh, psh. Yeah, let's crank this up. Dude, we are going to make a killing off these tanks. All right. We are going to be bringing in $953,000 for this. We'll take it. This ends on the 23rd. Beautiful. New alliance between France and Luxembourg. What up, Hardmore? How's it going? Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I'll be real honest. I did not I did not see that. I kind of get... And that's what I mean by, like, they, they have so many freaking pop-ups, man. So many pop-ups. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, if it's not pertinent information that I need to know about, like, it shouldn't be popping up like that. Because you do just kind of, like, click through pop-ups at a point. So, it, again, that would be something that the developers, I would I would say. Um, administration. Is there a new a new administrator yet? There is not. Um, we, we don't need a bank loan. We have money. Uh, Engineers-wise, we're okay there. We're okay there. Okay. Keep it going. I think we've kind of hit our strive. Vickers and the armor race. Uh-oh. 
Pressed for more advances in the race of armor versus firepower, Vickers' recent breakthrough seems to have turned the tide for a short while. Announcing the press their new products, they probably introduced a new type of cemented armor. Oh no. They're beating us in, in protection. They explained that Krupp only tested their product with uncapped projectiles and thus offered inferior products. Their own plates, they affirm, are specially tempered to counter these projectiles. Rapid adoption in tanks and uh, ships will put these claims to the rest, or to the test. Okay? Why don't I delete the old news? Uh, I don't know. I guess I could. It only pops up the one time, so I don't really care if it stays on that list. What I would like to delete is the old designs. Like, I don't have any re or reason to have those designs, so is there a way that I can delete them? Like, in the design bureau, it doesn't seem to be a thing. Like, I can't... Oh, yes, it can. I can. Totally. There's a little red can. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that is the Mark Threes. Get rid of that. Mark Three Alpha is the only thing we have left. Beautiful. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the design for the Mark One A uh, because I don't know if they will they will want like resupplies of those. But for now, I mean they'll have to order the new tank. Sorry, we we cannot fill your order for the old tanks. Only the latest and greatest for our customers. Is it more worth it to sell more tanks or to increase the money per tank? That's actually a good uh, a good thought as well, come to think of it. That's actually a very valid a valid strategy. Both are good. I mean, increasing the number of tanks sold is also something you want to be thinking about, I guess. Um, did we get accepted? No, oh, it's being it's being reviewed till the 23rd. Okay. Okay, been accepted. Immediately go in here and ship our 20 tanks. Um, I forget how long we had to ship them, but it should be plenty of time. So let's get it done. 20 tanks shipped, done. And that was the Mark Three Alphas. Okay, so how much resources do we have? We have resources coming in in eight days. Um, or no, that's the eight days it takes to ship out. I forgot. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more of the Mark Three Alphas building. Um, how many can we build? Can we build... I kind of only want to build them in chunks of 20, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's do blocks of 20. If we do end up, we can build another set of 20. It takes 22 days for these, these to be built. So that's not too bad. It's only four days longer than the Mark I Alphas, and it's a much better tank, so should be pretty solid there. Okay, assign. Maybe you can get the old designs back from the museum. Yeah, I don't actually know what the museum is, to be honest. Like if we click on museum... See, that's the proving ground. What is the museum? I don't think it's anything. Or at least not yet. Because it doesn't give me any options to do anything. It just exists. Who 
Who knows? All right, so 22 days for those to be built, eight days for those to be shipped. This will likely be delayed, so it'll probably end up taking like 15 days. Battle between Italy and France has concluded. And look, it, it pops all the freaking things back in. <laughs> we deleted all those for nothing. They're, they're all back. The extended high pass running gear has been completed. So now we can get our ex our extended rhomboidal hall structure. Let's get that. Start that. 79 days to get that finished. Uh, the female Mark II, I don't really care about. Combo Mark I wouldn't necessarily be the worst. Uh, but is it needed? Not really. I think we skip that and go with uh, maybe the improved medium hull. That would take 73 days. Man, everything takes so long. Um, we have the money. Do we go ahead and go in uh, upgrade for structure? Or do we go firepower? 15% less on structure. Takes 40 days, though. Yeah, let's go for it. Unf and that is our max faculty or facility slots for this building as well. Okay. Um... Dedicated procedures aimed at reducing lost resources in the event of a production halt. Okay, don't have to worry about that. I'm not sure what the best... We only get four slots, so it's not like I can upgrade all of these. And we can't upgrade them to level 2 either. At least not yet. I think we just hold for now. I think we hold for now. Alright. Speed up time. It has been delayed as expected. Uh, yes, this is the new tank game I was talking about where you get to design and, and build your own tanks and take them and sell them. It's called Arms Trade Tycoon. It's a PC game available through Steam. Currently, I believe it's uh, either just been released into early access or is about to be released into early access. So if you want to wishlist it and uh, play it, highly recommend it. So far, it's been a lot of fun. There are, It's definitely early access. There are some little things that's going on. Like, uh, this didn't happen before. This is a new bug, or at least it didn't happen to me in the previous version of the game. Uh, but the, the whole trophy system here has been oofy, oofed up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, should be fine. We're about to make a whole bunch of money, so. There's so many pop-ups, man. Look at the pop-ups. It's just constant. It's like, go one day in the head. New tank type adopted. Uh, British Empire has embraced a groundbreaking stride in military do doctrine by incorporating a novel tank type, Fusilade tank, into its arsenal. Really? Are you bringing in competitors' tanks from Britain?
They have two more tank battalions coming up. He's just filling up this with busted tanks. I don't know. Weird. Unless that's just a new, a new like, um, blueprint of what they expect out of a tank. Maybe that's what it is. Because the previous was the Vanguard tank. This is a Fusilade tank, so maybe it's not an actual tank. It's just like a blueprint of what they expect out of a tank on their next contract. All right. Uh, according to trustworthy sources, the William Foster Company has just completed a new design of the Fusilade tank codenamed Athena Mark IV. Okay. The Ottoman Empire has triumphed and has gained control over the entire territory. Dude, how? How are the British f***ing this up? Okay, we have 10 days left and only four days to deliver, so we're fine. Non-aggression between Sweden and German. Contract is completed, so we are now very, very, very rich. So we're good there. Beautiful. No new contracts, so we're waiting there. Uh, 60 days until we get the extended haul. I don't think there's anything else that we need here. I guess technically we could look into using different running gear. Um, if we go here. We have the Tadpole, the Whippet, and the Hornet. Um, we've already designed a Whippet and the Warhorse. Okay. I'm not sure which one is necessarily what we're going to need, but uh, we do have the Hornet and the Tadpole. So maybe we should come up with new designs for these two. They're definitely going to be for the extended haul, I would imagine. So let's see what we can do with this. So first of all, Idler Mark IV versus Idler Mark V. Okay, this is a 212 versus a 412. So the, the Idler Mark V would be slightly less agile, but better range. And more reliable. But weighs more. I think we go with that. Um, track inserts. We have two separate types of track inserts. The uh, track inserts Mark 1 are 555 five, five versus 447. Four, so better running gear. Um, reliability. If we go with this, but it drops our obstacle slope angle and step height. I think we go with the second one. We'll go with the Mark IIs. Uh, mud shoots. I mean, we got mud shoots Mark IIs. Just going to be better. Sprung rollers. We have sprung rollers one and two. So three nine seven, five nine five. So this is actually quite a bit less range. But you get a little bit more cross-country speed out of the Sprung Rollers Mark II. Uh, 
But it is, it is going to be heavy. Hmm. Do we go speed? Or range? What is our current range? Eight? We can take that up to ten. Our speed could go to twenty-one. Let's take it up to ten. Let's get our uh, operational range into double digits. So we'll use the Mark I rollers. And then the sprocket. Probably going to end up using the Mark V's here. So four, five, five versus three, three, two. Why is this worse in every every aspect? So this gives us more speed, agility, and road speed. Yeah, I think we stick with the Mark IVs here. All right, uh, let's get that assigned. That'll take seven days. Uh, once that completes, then we'll do the other other running gear as well, so that we can get multiple types of running gear in case we need them. What up, Sawyer? Appreciate you dropping it. Military campaign has concluded. New alliance between Romania and the Netherlands. Battle of Edegrat between the British Empire and the Empire of Ethiopia has begun. Rival tank has captured a Tyrannus MLE. Okay. Can we actually get this one or is this one bugged out too? Yep, I think it's I think it's it's all buzzed. It's all bugged. I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with the trophy system. What up, Navy? Uh, yeah, this is Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It's a PC game where you get to design and build your own tanks and then sell them to the highest bidder, essentially. All right. 53 days left there. Uh, the Engineering Bureau has finished their project, so now we want to do the other running gear while we can. So we did the uh, Hornet. So now we want to do the Tadpole. So we want that. We want the Mark V. Okay, this gives us different road wheels. So in terms of road wheels, 461, 663, 353. Feel like the road wheels mark two are the better option there the mark five is three three two i think we want the mark four rear sprocket and then we throw the cooling flaps on there so it gives us better transportability running gear and running gear Reliability and repair, uh, repairability. So, all right. Uh, assign that. It'll take 10 days. Get it done. I'm glad you enjoy, Sawyer. This was sent by his brother. Ah, it's all good. It's all good, man. Glad you guys enjoy what I do. Alright, let's keep it going. Currently have 20 tanks in storage. I do need to get some new resources, so let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Let's get 20 tanks worth of resources.
And then in terms of our production line, let's go ahead and build 20 more of these. Mm. Oh, it's because I'm... Oh, I'm in production. Can we not? Oh, I didn't click on the thing. I'm like, why, why can we not? Okay. Let's go for 20 more. Assign. Beautiful. Non-aggression treaty between Greece and Italy. What up, Curtis? Appreciate you dropping in. Yeah, the ads, the ads do get a little annoying. I try to keep them to a minimum on YouTube, but YouTube do be putting out ads. That is, that is definitely a thing. Glad you were able to drop in, Curtis. Appreciate you dropping in to like the stream. Hope you have a great day. Will be delayed as expected. Battle of Alta between Sweden and Norway. Okay. La Louvre. Fair enough. New Army Corps introduced. It is the armored car for France. Our new facility has been built. The structure lab. So that should speed up our research in terms of the structure. That's good. Because we do plan on doing more there. So now that is 32 days to finish. New trade agreement between Serbia and the Germans. Battle of Lisbon concluded. Okay, we've built 20 more, so we actually have 40 of these things in storage right now, which is a bit ridiculous. Uh, seven days until the resources arrive. 22 days until this research project finishes. New alliance between the British and the Netherlands. Uh, new contract for 20 tanks. Okay. Well, uh, I have just I have just the tank for you. Let's go. Turd Burglar Mark III. Uh, competitor is up to a 404. I can sell you uh, 30 of them easily. Um, it is currently 320. So, we can assume that by the end of the month, this contract will be completed. Or, will, the, the deadline will have ended. So, we know that we can ship it. Let's go for something like uh, the 25th. 25th seems, seems doable. And let's raise the price up as much as we want. There we go. So we will be making $1.48 million on this sale. Yeah, building more tanks seems like a good idea. Because we can sell more tanks. Yeah, I think so. And this is the Vanguard tank. So you see what I'm saying? Where they're like, they want the Vanguard tanks. They want the uh, Fusilade tanks and stuff like that. So I think that's what they're referring to, um, which the Vanguard wants protection, firepower, hard, and repairability. So we, we score really well in all of those. So, all right, well, that's going to be a good, good payday. And now that will end on the 21st. So yeah, it seems like it's, it seems like it takes five days after you submit your offer for the contract deadline to end. 
and that allows you to get your uh, your next set. So we need to remember that. Five days, guys. All right. New alliance between Italy and Liberia. Battle of Alma Mata uh, ended with British Empire seizing the battlefield. That's good. Fourth Battalion doing work. Let's check out how it did. Um, so that's this one, I believe. Okay. So we have the British won this, so they get campaign points. So we've actually won three in a row. So that's good. So it was just the first fight that we seem to have lost. Well, that's good. Which still, I, I don't know how you would manage to lose at all. But uh, definitely, it seems like our tanks do better in low intensity fights. Uh, which kind of makes sense, I guess. It allows you to find and take out targets much quicker or much easier i should say all right 16 days until the research project ends new resources have arrived let's go ahead and get another set of resources on the way um let's go for 20 Tanks worth of resources, please. Go to Asia. They may always be late, but these guys always come through for the amount of resources that I need. So, can't really complain. As long as we're on schedule, we will be utilizing resources from Asia. Cheaper and much easier to uh, buy in bulk. Alright, so 15 days left here. Um, we should know tomorrow whether our contract was accepted, and it was. So now we should be able to uh, go to tanks and ship out our 30. Now, the biggest kicker here is we're going to be utilizing the Wankington and Sons. It's going to be a little bit more expensive to ship out, but unfortunately our normal Ryder and Co. is uh, only capable of shipping 20 at a time. So we can do 30 of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Sign the order. Okay. Go back. Uh, the next thing I do want to do is that should leave us with 10 tanks in storage. So we want to build 20 more tanks. Of these. So let's go ahead and build 20 of them. Since we can only seem to get the slider to sell 30 tanks at a time, having more than 30 in storage just seems like a waste. So we will build 20, or we will have 30 in storage of any, any given model. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, it is currently almost 4 o'clock, so I will have to, well, I, I guess we've got about an hour. About an hour maybe longer if i decide to keep going all right um yeah 14 days until that finishes that'll be the next thing the light tank gambit light tanks have already been in use for quite some time and yet the nations deployed them just as they would any other tanks france in particular and their high, high command have de described these tanks as feeble in the face of the enemy and a waste of resources renowned french industrialists however are not content with this state of affairs having been approached by colonel estienne they plan to massively increase their production in a new bid to change france's doctrine and swarm the enemies with it metal beasts okay that's uh i i get it i get it we'll see what we can do um, is this actually getting, like, is the trophy system still bugged? Yes. The answer is, of course, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to quit going into the trophy system until I talk to the developer and see if they can get a patch out for that. Because, yeah, that's, that's kind of a, 
kind of not not cool it is what it is we will have to continue with only british engineering up at this point which is fine with me all right keep it going uh between iceland between norway and denmark has started okay asia will be late shocker Battle of Axum between the British Empire and Ethiopia has begun. Okay. Austro-Hungary and Romania. We are shipping, right? Like, that's the inlet. I did click the shipping, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Yeah, five days left. Okay. I was like, wait, am I going to like waste my time here? Okay. So five days left. So that's the shipping out. This is the shipping in. Uh, and we have 22 days to complete the contract. So we got all the time in the world. Beautiful. New alliance between Bulgaria and the Netherlands. Contract has been completed. So we get lots of money. Love it. And we have finished the research for the extended rhomboidal hull. Beautiful. All right, so next, what do we want to do? They're talking about light tanks and stuff, so do we go for the improved medium hull here, or do we go for the central cab? Like, this is just a site, right? Like, I'm not crazy. That takes 77 days for that. It does come with internal comm links and stuff like that. Hmm. Female Mark II, we don't really care about. Go for the improved medium hull. Could do that. Okay, this has the engine behind. This is like the Matilda sort of deal. Plus, it comes with the all these good things. It's going to take seven or 62 days. Let's go ahead and go for the improved medium hull. See if we can't come up with a Matilda design-ish. All right. AP munitions also wouldn't be a bad idea. It's going to take 39 days when we do get it. Okay. AP munitions for the machine guns is not a bad idea, especially if there's going to be a lot of light tanks running around. Countering them would be a, a good idea. So, it's a thought. All right. Fair enough. Moving on. Uh, we need to design our engineering project for the new extended rhomboidal hull. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we now have the Mark V hull. Look at it. Now respect it. We did get some uh, some stuff there. So we have the Site Mark II. Uh, we are going to be using RHA steel. We are going to be using bolted construction. We do have ammo stowage. We have the external comms, which is just like signage. Shell stowage. Fuel stowage. Um, yes, that's good. 732 versus 441. So what is this? Top thickness is slightly thicker, but crew safety is lower by substantially. Mm. And top ricochet, yeah. I think we go with the, the Mark II hatch. Roof Mark II. What do we got? We could go with the roof rack, or we go with this. So we have 1 and 14, so we add a 14 top ricochet. This adds the ability to go over uh, more wider trenches, and adds a little bit of top thickness, and top ricochet of 3. Okay, so that's just this log that's on the back, right? Like, it's literally a log. 
I kind of like the idea of still having the ability to have something like sticking up to protect our roof, but there's a big gap between there. Plus, it kind of gets in the way of our signage. Depends on where we're signaling. Are we signaling forward or reverse? That is the real question. If we're signaling forward, this is blocking our signaling. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do we go do we go with the log or do we go with the the uh cage? I kind of like the log better if I'm honest. It is going to cost us some in the roof ricochet. Yeah, mark 2 the log. You guys are about the log. Yeah, I think I think I think I agree. All right. So that's that. Um, we have no other comms. We have this, that. Uh, we're over here. Now, the next question. We have the tail wheel mark two. Uh, which gives us five agility, seven obstacle step height, and uh, seven obstacle trench width. It does add an extra 385 kilograms, which is not ideal. Five three four versus seven five seven. I mean, if we're going to use it, I feel like the Mark II is just simply better. We could just get rid of it altogether, but it does give us good stats. All right. Well, that's that. Let's go ahead and assign it. That'll be the Mark V, Mark One hull. Take ten days for them to engineer it. New non-aggression between Spain and Germany. Turb burglar Mark. 30 or mark 3a has finished its production run good to know new alliance between france and liberia we have finished the mark 5 mark 1 what are we currently working on here we are working on the improved medium hall okay so we're, we're okay there let's uh come up with a our first new iteration of a new tank so, no turd burglar left. This is a brand new design. It will be a Mark V series tank. So, we have that. Engine-wise, can we get the, the V12? We cannot. Boy, it is sadness that we can't get the V12 in this thing. So, I guess we go with the uh, Ricardo six-cylinder. Or do we, since this thing is still kind of similar to the previous design, do we call this the Turd Burglar Mark V and just call it that and be done? I think we might. I think we might. All right, from a track standpoint, we got multiple different types of tracks here. So we could go with the Centipede or the Warhorse, but I think we go with the Tadpole. Uh, if we're doing this, then the wheels have got to go. Come to think of it. Yeah. I think we get rid of the, the wheels. Uh, that, that's not going to work. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Engineering. Back to the drawing board. We're going to come up with a Mark V without the wheels. Scrap the uh, Mark I, please. Mark V series, again, that should be that, that should be that, that should be that. We already know what we're getting here, so I'm just going to go through it. Four, 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 two, two, two. so that's just better. 
This one, we wanted the, let's see, 144, 273. I think we went that, we went that, and then this, just go away. Okay. Assign. All right, 10 days, we'll have that finished. All right. Italy has rearmed its infantry with civilian trucks. Fair enough. Battle of Santorini between Greece and uh, Ottoman Empire. 37,580 new resources have arrived. Let's get another s set of resources on the way, please. Um, for the Tur Burglar, let's go ahead and grab 20 tanks worth more of resources. Get them on the way, please. Nine Tails coming in, re upping for nine months. Thank you so much, my dude. Also, Talking Head, have a great night, my dude. Appreciate you. U812, I see you as well. Thank you for dropping in, man. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure that this is a mistake. Yeah, we are. Just filling up with fin rears that don't don't actually exist. Unfortunate. God, I hope they fix that soon. All right. Um, let's see production, engineering, research. Okay, just keep going then. Any contracts? Nothing. Okay, the Mark V, Mark I is done. So now we will go to design. What up, Elsass? How's it going? Good to see you as well. Appreciate you dropping in. Uh, we will create a new design for the Mark V. Still want to have our big gun. Okay. Um, having one out the rear does seem like a good idea. So let's go with the Hotchkiss in the rear as well as the Hotchkiss in the front. Okay, selected crew, um, commander, we want driver, gunner loader, um, let's see, mechanic, gunner, And then a mechanic. That's too much. Hmm. So adding an extra person is definitely not going to work. So this guy needs to be just a regular mechanic. That gets us over the halfway mark. So that's what we need. Right? It gives us our commander, our driver, our gunner. No, we need more gunner. So we need a driver gunner. Um, we can do driver gunner. Or driver mechanic. And then have our mechanic be a mechanic gunner. And I think that is the best that we can do that. 
So let's go to expendables. We want the armor piercing. We want the high explosive two. We want the tracer as well as the standard ammo. And then we want the petrol 50. For a paint, I feel like we've upgraded to khaki brown at this point. I actually like that look, to be honest. All right. So what do we call this thing? No longer a turd burglar. It has it has upgraded from a turd burglar. What do we call this thing? You've played against me when uh, when I'm live, and I missed you Sunday. I'm sorry, man. I try to I try to call everybody out, but sometimes I miss people. There are a lot of you guys compared to me, usually, especially on World of Warship streams. The Max Burglar. <laughs> the Slug. I like the Slug, actually. That's We're going Slug. It is the Slug. Uh, slug Mark 1. All right. Assign it. 34 days to, to come up with the Slug Mark 1. I like that. You're on my friends list? Okay. Alright. Well, let's keep this going. Battle of Paros between Ottoman Empire and Greece. Our resources will be late or er, late. Shocker. New non-aggression between Portugal and Italy. New tank top or new tank type adopted. Ottoman Empire has embraced a groundbreaking stride in military doctrine by incorporating a novel tank type, the Wire Crusher tank, into its arsenal. Fair enough. New alliance between Greece and Italy. New non aggression between Norway and Italy. Battle for Tricolea. Tricala has concluded. Battle of Axum has concluded. Resources are here. Um, is there anything else that we need to think about? I don't think so. I think we're pretty set at the moment. Any contracts that I missed? No. Okay, 18 days until the research project concludes. New tank revealed from the William Foster Company. It is the Hector Mark IV. Trade agreement between Italy and France. Greece has ushered in a momentous chapter in its military doctrine. Armored car. Stormtroopers in the German Empire, huh? Okay. The pop-ups are real, man. Good lord. Okay. So the tank is officially ready. So we're going to take the Mark the Mark 1 slug out. Test it in, in the testing yard. I'm not going to lie. I, li I like the look of this thing. It may take a moment to ramp up, but once it gets moving, she moves. I'm a little worried about uh, climbing the wall, if I'm being 100% with you. I don't know that we'll be able to climb this wall. This thing is very long. 
It may not climb particularly amazingly. Up the hill! Oh no. Hold that thought. So yeah, this is kind of what I was worried about. It is a very tall obstacle. We are very long. Unless we can come at it at an angle. I don't think we're getting up this. Which means we cannot actually complete... Oh, it was right there! Oh, we have royally stuck ourselves now. We can't complete it. So it is impossible to complete that course with this tank. So we will send it through the uh, trial range. Uh, I mean, we have the tanks ready for the uh, Mark 3As. Um, so the next contract that shows up, maybe we'll do a test look to see if people are looking for the, the new tank. But yeah, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. Okay, tank trials have completed. Military campaign between Sweden and Norway. The Kugel hand grenade. I'm guessing that's the hand grenade for the. Okay, the improved medium haul is finished. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. This is the Combo Mark I. What does it do exactly? It is a male and female at the same time. It's got the uh, normal sponsor, but also allows for the machine gun. Okay, I don't really care about that too much, to be perfectly honest. What does this do again? Low square structure on the tank's roof. It has vision ports dotted around it, as well as a provision to mount several machine guns. Okay. Also gives us internal comms. Is this literally a horn to yell into and be like, Hey, get over here. We need your help. I'm confused as to what do I, I what do I want to do here? If we go for this, this will be 77 days. Holy mother of God. This will be 82 days? Good Lord. Um, yeah. I don't need this at all. Like, this is not a thing that I care about. So I think we go with the central cab... 
Conversely, we go with the female Mark II. But we don't care about that either, to be perfectly honest. Let's go with the central cab. Get it done. Um, the next thing we want to look at is enhanced high pass running gear. I like how they just call this the land ship. Clearly, these are not the right idea. They do not work. At least not in our test bed anyway. Have a good night, Capri. Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Do you think we could try it in reverse? I mean, I'll try, but I don't think it's going to help. I think it's too long, because as soon as it starts to go up either direction, it just loses traction for whatever reason. I don't know if it's a bug in the game or if it's legitimately a an issue with the design. Like, it does really well everywhere until you try to go up that big hill. Like, so that makes me think it's more of a glitch with the, the like, actual climbing on the wall part. Unless, of course, you're referring to going up the other side instead of trying it from this side. Like, start going up the other side. So if we try to turn this thing around. Oh my god, you're a genius. Oh no. Spoke too soon. That almost worked beautifully. Yeah, it just... As soon as... It just doesn't have the grip to get up the... The slick surface or something. I wonder if we can sneak past the wall and get close enough that it, like, triggers the waypoint. It does. Oh, my God. We're genius. <laughs> Screw you, wall. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Don't miss the thing. All right. Spray down all the targets. Thank you. The reverse idea was actually a pretty smart idea. It just didn't quite work out. I mean, in fairness, who would choose to drive over that wall if they could just drive around it to begin with? Am I right? I'm not crazy. Here at, at Le here at Elite Armored Solutions, we pride ourselves in our ability to think outside the box. Where other companies would just simply drive over the wall, we look for ways around. This could get interesting. Oh my god, it's genius. Straight up, no problem. Look at that.
These tracks definitely seem to have some issues with grip. Like, they just slide like they're on ice, man. Which makes no real sense. Flip it around. Really? You will all die! I'm sorry, but I can guarantee you this right now. If I was in this firing range and they said, You've got 500 rounds of ammunition. I would be using all 500 rounds every time. I don't care about how accurate I am. Accuracy isn't what I'm here for. I'm here to fire the guns. So, I guarantee every time I'd be firing all 500 rounds. They'd be like, alright, from now on, Spartan only gets 200 rounds of ammunition. Over the trench, no problem. Oh yeah, I forgot, we do have an MG in our butt. Alright. Sniped it. Again. Beautiful. Look at that. Passed it. We get the deployment bonuses and everything. Isn't that great? Yeah, I, I completely forgot we have the, uh, the, the, the machine gun in the butt. I forgot about that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Alright, so that's done. 77 days for that. I mean, do we go ahead and flip production over to building the new tank? That's the question. Do we need anything special for that? That's the other thing I didn't look at. Like, if we look at our engineering... Uh, actually, it would have been in the design phase, right? Do we need anything special for this? Um, okay, so machining, hardening, riveting, we already had the riveting, rifling, milling, Hmm. So, we could add a couple of other things. We have the money for it. What do we currently have? We have three out of four facility slots with the sub-assembly line, the riveting hall, and the ergonomics focus. Um, what would be the most obvious? I guess hardening? Or the cutting hole. I'll be real honest. I'm more looking at the casting hole. I'm just, at this point, I know I only have one thing left. And I'm looking at the coolest buildings. And this is like looking the coolest. I think we go with the casting hole. As our last building. At the end of the day, it's all about having cool things, right? Alright. Um, we're waiting for a contract. We don't have a contract. Uh, we do have 30 tanks ready to go. The question is, do I go ahead and build that? What, what are we currently researching? We're researching the central cab. Um, did we go ahead and then make the new, I can't remember, did we make the new medium tank hull? 
We did not. We have the Medium Hornet. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So we want to go with RHA, bolted, ammo. We have the Sight Mark 1 and Sight Mark 2. So 365, 365. They both are literally the same. It is simply um, a looks. I kind of like the idea of just sticking your head up in a box. I mean, the periscope makes a little bit more sense. But sticking your head up into an armored box and going, yeah, they're over here. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to me. Uh, periscope seems like the better choice. Let's go with the periscope. Uh, for signage, we do have two different signs. Uh, this one is three crew awareness or seven crew awareness versus four crew awareness. So Mark II seems like the better choice here for sure. But this gives a slight boost to operational range. Hmm. Yeah, I think we go with this. Okay, can't do anything there. Let's get the Mark II. Um, in terms of ventilation, we got five versus seven, two versus one, one versus four. So obviously Mark II better. Um, in terms of the hull hatch, we've got three, seven, eight, and four. So hull three or hull hatch three seems like the better bet here. Top thickness is a little bit lighter. Top ricochet is the same. This actually gives us a little bit more top ricochet. Eh, I like the look of this one better. All right, what else we got? Do we want to put the log on there? Or the roof rack. I mean, I think we strap a log to the back of it and call it a day. Uh, in terms of tailwheel, absolutely not. I mean, it does give us boosts to the things, but no. Not putting a tailwheel on this thing. Look at that ugly, ugly monstrosity. No more tailwheels. We're banning them from henceforth. What up, Feeling Blue? You will get revenge on me. You killed you. I killed you in your Montana. In my Brindisi. <laughs> wow. Uh, I feel like you should probably not admit that openly. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible thing to go out and yell at people. It's like, how dare you kill me in my Montana when you're in a Brindisi? I, I wouldn't admit that out loud. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. I wonder if that's the video that I'm going to end up putting out of the Brindisia. That'd be hilarious. I don't remember exactly. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that is our new haul. 15 days for the medium tank haul. We'll test that out. See what we can do with it. You will put pineapple on my pizza. I will put you in a coffin <laughs> it's all good my dude ggs all right times 10 uh everything is doing things right we have plenty of materials we have do we go ahead and increase this as well let's go with the. Uh... this gives us an extra 50 tanks that we can store i feel like that's a good idea um, stockpile gives us an extra 75,000 resources we can store. So that seems like a good idea. Uh, in terms of safety, I feel like guaranteeing our ability to, like, like, actually get things. So safety. Unloading safety, specialized section, disembark various types of transportation while reducing the chance of an accident. Um, allows tanks to board various types of transportation while reducing the chance of an accident. Okay, loading safety stations seems like a good idea.
Because that would be the shipping out, right? This would be unloading. This would be loading. Depot with a private fleet of lorry trucks that will increase the safety of which tanks and commodities are delivered. Oh, uh, that actually is better. Um, and then what is this? Reduction of tank delivery time. I mean... This just seems like a really good idea. We'll go with that. This, I don't really care about. Increasing the safety seems like a good idea. All right, so we're building lots of things. We have spent a lot of money times 10. Let's uh, check contracts, make sure I didn't miss something. I didn't. Next. Okay, keep it going. At least I'm in the bottom of the ocean with my lobster family. But I will rise. <laughs> uh, skirmisher? Is that what you said? It's hard for me to read because there's a heart in the way. Hey, a new contract. Beautiful. Let's check out our contract, shall we? All right, so if we want to check out, like, the slug... How much would you like for the... I mean, the slug. They they want the slug real bad. Like, they want the slug real bad. But unfortunately for you, Britain, it's not available just yet, okay? You're going to have to relax. We've got a couple more kinks to work out. So you're going to get one more, more, one more of these, and then from here on, you'll be getting slugs. At least for a little while. But we're going to crank that up to 30, because we do have 30 of them to sell. Um... It is currently 618. We can assume five days, so that would be 623 is when that would start. So we should be able to crank this down. Let's go with like uh, 717 seems like a good idea. Yeah, 717 seems like a great idea. Uh, and then we'll just bump up. Let's get rid of this. What is your offer for? 12. Look at you, the Athena Mark IV. I'm sorry to break it to you, sunshine, but you're not getting a contract. Dude, these guys would be out of business by now if this is what they were up against. Like, we are straight up owning them every step of the way. Okay, that's too much. So there you go. We will make $1.475 million off of this. Let's go. <laughs> lobster coming in with the lobsters. All right, so there we go. That should be the last of the uh, Mark 3As going out. We will now go ahead and start our production of our brand new Slug Mark 1s. What do you guys think? Do we build 30 of them? Can we even build 30 of them? Take 25 days to build 30 of these things. Not too shabby at all. Beautiful. All right, then. A sign. We'll start building them in groups of 30 now. And then we will get rid of the old slug, or the old uh, Mark III contract, or Mark III tank design soon enough. All right, so. 68 days left there. That is the medium, right? No, that's the central thing again. Six days left to design the medium hornet. Okay, that's where we were at. I'm not crazy, am I? You're a little crazy. Keep going. Military conflict has come to an end. Uh, another one has concluded. Speaking of, how, how are we looking? 14,000. We're halfway, boys. We're halfway to our first achievement. Not too shabby. 
New Army Corps introduced. It is the heavy artillery for the Ottoman Empire. It's a little scary, if I'm being honest. And our contract has been accepted, so we will immediately... I always do that. Go here and ship out our tanks. We have these guys. We will ship 30 of them. Okay. Ship out 30. And we need to ship them via these guys. So let's just go ahead and sign that. Get it done. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be close. What is the maximum delay on that? I didn't look. What is the maximum delay for that, potentially? I didn't look. Ouchie. I hope the delay doesn't happen. Let's just hope that the delay doesn't happen, okay? It's fine. Okay, so our medium hornet is finished. Let's go to the design bureau, try to come up with a medium tank. We have the medium hornet. AKA the Matilda-ish. All right, engine wise, I mean, we can't use anything else. So we pretty much have to go with the Ricardo. Track wise, we do have the Hornets or the Whippets. Uh, Hornets seem like the better bet there. So we'll go with that. Um, for guns, obviously, do we want side guns? I feel like side guns are kind of dumb. Yeah, let's get rid of the side guns. Assuming you're a side gun as well. Two guns in the front, one in the rear. There we go. Uh, I'll check and see how this is going to work out. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. Um, mass limit is a bit, a bit crazy at the moment. Um, uh, obviously we're going to need a gunner loader. Actually, we don't need a loader. So just gunner in general. That fits that. Um, we have driver, mechanic. If we go any further than three, we are just kind of screwing ourselves. So commander mechanic um can you be gunner anything else you can be gunner mechanic okay that, that fits that and then we get the commander and be commander gunner to fit that and that meets all of our expectations. And we don't need an extra thing. We are going to have the faults here. It has three defects because of... Uh, see, obstacle trench width. Okay, well, we'll have to look at that as we get there. Um, tracer ammo, obviously. Standard ammo. And then petrol 50. From a paint standpoint... I think we go with uh, the deep green. Okay. Um, so what exactly are our uh, issues here? So we have insufficient structure rigidity because of the mass limit. Um, So the engine is the problem, most likely. I think that's about the only place that we can really strip weight off of this thing. The mass limit is 21,000 tons. So if we go back to the selected components and we go to the engine, uh, can we swap out... See, this weighs how much? 
versus 29.39. So this is lighter. That saves us a little bit. Now it only has two defects. Hmm. I kind of want to check out our, uh, we need to go in and revisit our engines as well. We do have the new transmissions and stuff that we can add to these engines. So we have better components that we can slap on these engines as well. That might save us some weight, potentially. Wait, did I only ship 20 tanks? I thought I shipped 30. Are we sure? All right, hold that thought. You guys you guys got me all kinds of uh No, quantity. 30 30 30 tanks are being shipped out. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Okay. You're saying I only built 20 of them? Uh, I guess you're right. That's fine. That's not the biggest biggest issue. Nobody's ordered them yet, so we can always add more there. But yeah, that, that is something I want to make sure that we're building at least. We're, I want to make sure we have at least 30 of these for every contract. 30, 30 tanks for every contract. Um, Has this fixed itself magically? Does not appear so. Okay. Uh, administration wise, is there anybody new? No, there isn't. Uh, we have all of our engineers, all of our workers. Everything on that side of things is perfect. So we have 11 days left to deliver. Probably should go ahead and get some more materials while I'm thinking about it. We'll order 20 tanks worth of materials from Asia. That'll take 15 days to get here. Slim tank, the stunk. <laughs> All right. Um, we were doing something. We were designing the medium tank. Oh, I want to go to engineering first. I want to check on whether we can get a better a better engine set up. All right. So we know that the lightest tank or the lightest engine that we currently have is going to be the. twin four cylinders so let's start with that um, from side brakes I kind of want to go straight to the mark fours flywheel mark four carburetor two three three two 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 Mark IV, radiator, Mark IV, transmission, Mark IV. Okay, if we do this, this will be our, our modern version of the twin four cylinders. Assign it. It'll take eight days. And what is the weight of that compared to the weight of the previous version? Uh, 1930, it's actually way heavier. Holy sh... Yeah, we just made it worse. We just made it much, much heavier. It'll be better overall in terms of stats, but it's way heavier. Um, is there something that we can do tracks-wise to the Hornets to make them better? I don't think so. I think we pretty much got the best of everything that we can. 
So starts with a, okay, is there better, like, th I'm assuming this would be worse, right? Yeah, that's smaller. So we can only do either the Whippets or the Hornet series for that. This is currently using the, My the Mark V, the track inserts, the mud chutes, sprung rollers, all that. Is there a way that we can increase our mass limit with these? So, like, if we went with the Mark Fives, that does not change that at all. Track inserts does not change that either. 555 five, five versus 744. Okay, mud shoots. Five five four versus six six four. I mean, it's just better. Sprung rollers. Mark two versus Mark one doesn't change. So three nine seven versus five nine five. So this will be more reliable, or no, it has longer range but slightly lower speed. I feel like a medium tank you would want the speed more. So I think we stick with the speed. And then in terms of the rear sprocket, the 332, 455. Uh, let's go ahead and assign that. Oh, can't yet. Okay, so that'll have to wait. It's heavier again. I feel like our problem is we just need more of a mass limit for these tracks. Like these tracks are just not very capable in terms of their mass limit. Have a good night. Uh, be safe at work, Mr. Lonsis. Appreciate you, my dude. Uh, what up, Lobster? The aim of this game is to design and build your tanks and sell them to the highest bidder and make a lot of money doing it. That is, that is the aim. All right, let's keep it going. Switzerland, Luxembourg, non-aggression. New trade agreement between Greece and the Ottomans. Okay. Okay, we've finished that. And again, the issue with the medium tank is... Like we're just not going to have like if we go with the um, new transmission and everything it's going to be a lot heavier than it was obviously we have the Hornet Mark II Okay. Selected crew. Um, gunner mechanic. Driver, gunner. Or no, driver mechanic. And then commander gunner that's how we made it okay expendables will be our ammo types 
fuel paint deep green okay and what did we say we were going to call this slim tonk the stonk stonk Honk must go vroom vroom, must go fast. With flamethrower? Yeah, we don't have flamethrowers. Alright, we'll call it the Stonk Mark 1. Now, we won't be able to assign this yet, because we don't have the tracks yet, but... The Stonk Mark 1 is at least ready to go and designed, as soon as we get the tracks for it. So tracks. Assign. All right, four days left to deliver. Beautiful. Contract complete. All the money is ours. Love it. Keep going. Less stubborn than the French army, the British have, have seen calls by various officers to include larger forces of light tanks to exploit the gaps left by the heavier vehicles. They claim that such breakthroughs are neglected while the nimble beasts would, would wreak havoc on the enemy and break its back. Already examples of the Whippet are being ex experimentally modified with leaf spring suspensions or sprung track rollers, new transmissions, and V12 aerial engines to improve their effectiveness in this role. Okay. Contract for 20 tanks of the Fusilade tank. I'm not ready yet. Okay, so they want soft firepower protection and repairability. Um, we are building the tanks. Could do that. Uh, we have 16 of them built, so I don't want to drop this too much. Um, let's see, it is currently 7, 8, so 5 days will be the 13th. So from the 13th, and then we got to deliver it. So probably okay to drop this down to like... Sixteenth, that gives us a little bit of extra room, uh, and then we can just crank up the price. Um, competitors are at four hundred two. Throwing out their Athena Mark IV, we can just crank up the price. We will be making one million dollars off of this. Okay. Should be fine. Right, that's going to take five. I forgot these aren't done. So that's going to take five more days to finish producing the last four. I mean, we should still be plenty fine. Saturation tank. Interesting. Hornet Mark II has been engineered. So I guess we take the Hornet... Oh, wait. Have we not? I'm confused. Oh, we, we got to design it now, right? Okay, so if we take this and then assign it. That'll take 32 days. So get that done. 
we have any buildings here? We don't. All right, so let's go with something uh, ergonomics, probably a good idea. Okay. Um. Reduction of defect severity. I mean, that seems like a good idea. Reduction of resource cost and man hour cost also seems like a good idea. Man hour cost. Resource cost. So it provides a bonus of tank design time by 5%. bonus to chance of completing the project in a day. I think we go for uh, compliance office here. And then this is reduction in resources. Seems like a good thing. And then this gives us a reduction further in resources as well as time or man manpower so let's just do that okay um I'm gonna take time for that 47 days left here battle of Basungo uh Basungoa what up harmful have I ever played Cold Waters? I have not. Um, I actually... I have the game. I've just not actually played it. Is there another contract? No, it's just the one. Okay. Okay, it was accepted. And we completed the production just in time. That is freaking fantastic. You'll love to see it. All right. Um, I clicked the wrong button. I actually want the tank warehouse. We want to ship out 20 of these. Um, they have to arrive by the, what was it? The 18th. I think we gave ourselves a month, right? Wait, before we ship them out, like, I, I gotta remember, how long do we have? Yeah, we have 33 days to ship them out. Alright, fair enough. So, if we go here, should be able to ship these out, all 20 of them. Worst case scenario, we can ship them with this, and it is supposed to be delivered in eight days. And even even if on the eighth day it decides that it wants to, uh, it is a 14 day. So it's just eight and 14 is 22. Yes, 22 days maximum. So yes, we can we can deliver all of these using the cheapest form possible. That's fine. Beautiful. Get it done. And uh, with that. I feel like getting some new resources in would be a good idea. Unless we already are. Can't do 30. Can we do 26? Let's go for 24 then. Sign the order. Oh, we don't have the capac. Oh, we're already pretty much full. Okay, that's fine. Make it as long as possible and name it the baguette. I mean, our slug is pretty long. I think that's about as long as it can get. Right. 
how we looking? We're at 16,000 towards our first uh, thing. Um, administration wise, do we have anything like, do we have any more room or anything? I don't think we do, but I'm just checking. So 120 of 120, 450. I mean, we're fine. Okay. Peak has been doing some videos on cold waters. Oh, Peak's back. Nice. Love to see my take on it. I mean, I may end up getting into it. I just... I haven't really had a chance to sit down with it and try to, like, figure the game out yet. I've been trying to play a lot of other things. But I do have the game. So it, is, it isn't out of the realm of possibilities. I bought it over a year ago, I think. It was on Steam sale at one point. Okay, it was delivered, but we still have plenty of time, so it'll be delivered in 18 days, whereas uh, this will be 29 days is our deadline, so we're fine there. No translation found for Albania has been occupied in UI locations. Yeah, so uh, we found another bug. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just give the uh, developer my stream and let them see what's going on. We've we've run into a few little hiccups here. Again, this is early access. We're about to go into early access. It was closed beta. All right, let's go ahead and start building some more of these. Let's build 30. We'll take 38 days to build 30 of them. You're fond of train and truck simulator? I do want to try to get back into American Truck Sim. I know they've added on some new uh, new states and stuff. And I'm pretty sure I bought them, but I could be wrong. I just haven't, haven't had a chance to get back into it either. Okay, the contract has been completed. So we are up over three million dollars now. We are we are well on our way to being an absolute force to be reckoned with. So uh, we do have six days left for the Stonk Mark I to come out of being designed, and we will test that out in the test drive. Okay, our tank depot and stockpile depot have been finished. So now we can have even more resources on hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that and start immediately getting resources brought in. So go for like 30 tanks worth. I know we're not going to be able to. Okay, so we can do 24 of these at one time. Go ahead and do that.
Does that make it a toasted baguette? Maybe tell the devs to add settings for the pop-ups so you get only the relevant pop-ups. I will definitely, definitely be talking to them about the pop-ups and stuff. Because, like, I get it. You want to show, like, the world events and stuff to show that the, the world is, is changing all over the place. But we do have a map that showcases, like, conflicts and stuff and where they're occurring. So that's a thing. But... Yeah, this is, this is unfortunate. Like, I, I really wish, I really hope they get this fixed quickly. Because part of the fun of this is reverse engineering and mix mashing, like, uh, Franken's, Franken tanks together. All right. The Stonk Mark One is done. So let's go ahead and, uh, Yeah, the, the weight limit is killing this thing. Because our tracks have a weight limit of 21,000 pounds... Should be able to go up this hill. Yeah, definitely didn't struggle to get up the hill. I mean, when it comes to maneuvering up around the battlefield, it seems pretty solid. But yeah, I think the weight limit's definitely going to be an issue. We just ended up just high enough. We can't seem to shoot. There we go. But yeah, this thing seems to maneuver around stuff really easily. Not quite as large as previous tanks. So, in places where you don't necessarily need, like, the big gun, I mean, you bring a little bit more soft firepower. This will be a test. I mean, it went right up the hill. I mean, it just climbs over everything. So there's that. And then if we go to three. you have it I mean not not bad for what it is I mean it may have a lot of defects and stuff because of the weight limit but 
once you get up to speed and like when it comes to like maneuvering it seems to do okay crosses over the trenches just fine missed it it's fine all right hey lots is back we went with the stonk for the medium tank name have a good night lots All right, so that's that. Uh, we are building the new tanks that it'll take 25 days to finish. Um, 14 days until the new resources arrive. Research will be done in 15. Which means at least 20 more pop-ups. Compliance office is finished. The 15 centimeter SFH02 artillery, so 150 millimeter freaking gun. That's kind of terrifying. Okay, resources have arrived. Okay, let's go ahead and get another another set of resources on the way. Um, let's grab this. Go for 24. Go to Asia. Get it done. Go back up. Uh, we do need to put the uh, stonk through its paces here. get that done there's no guarantees that they would rather have the stonk over ours so i'm not going to build any of them yet uh we'll just kind of do a test bed okay um research project did finish i forget what we just researched oh i think it was this central cab so do we go for fha steel now whoops To go for the reinforced rhomboidal hull. I think we do. I think we go for the FHA steel. Face hardened armor. It's going to take 159 days. Good lord. Okay, hold that thought. Uh, let's get the AP munitions first. That'll get done in 40 days. Uh, and then we want to look at uh, potentially doing the big guns again. So we have a new QF6 pounder. We also have the uh, Hotchkiss 1914 light machine gun or medium machine gun. And then we have anti infantry rounds for the main guns. That's terrifying. What is it like, buckshot? Just lead shot. Okay, well, we've got lots of goods coming up. All right, well, keep it, keep it rolling. Everything else should be good to go. Okay, we have 30 on hand. 
Do we go ahead and build another 30 of them? Or do we build some of our stonks? I mean, I feel like nobody's going to want the stonk. With this many defects... In terms of their cost, this is only slightly cheaper than this. Resource-wise, this is slightly cheaper than this. Man hour wise, this is a little bit a little bit cheaper man man hours. But the tank fame is terrible. So yeah, I think we want to go with building thirty more of these. I don't think we're going to build any of the stonks. I mean, it's just, I don't see it doing well at all. It's a concept. We'll, we'll test it and see if somebody would want to buy any of them. But I highly doubt that they will. Let's go ahead and build 30 more of these. Make it, make it a thing. Five days until new resources come in. The cavalry tank. Interesting. Functionality department. Oh, there's our there's our casting department. sure we just keep going at this point okay get some new materials let's grab enough for 24 more of these from asia please okay we have a fire repair it please also, if we suffered casualties, do we need to replace them? Mm, yes, we are short-staffed on engineers. Or no, we only need 10. I'm a dumb. Okay. We're okay there. Yeah, the prototype of the stonk should be uh, should just be put in the museum. I don't think it'll actually go into production. Just pop ups all the time. Is there anybody even using our tanks at the moment? I mean, the only people that have even bought from us have been the British. I would have expected anybody else to be, like, putting contracts out, too. But the only contracts I've seen have been from the British. Okay, new resources. Let's go ahead and grab some more. Grab 24 more tanks worth of resources.
Oups, wrong button. Belgium and France. Delays. Not shocked. AP munitions is finished. Beautiful. Let's go check out our next setting. We want to go to... Do we want the big gun here? Which is... 137, 13, and 14 versus the... 124, 11, and 13. Or do we want this first? This is only going to take 39 days to research. I feel like this would be a good idea to research. 113, 12, and 12 versus 101, 10, and 10. So just better across the board. Okay. This gets the land ship, which gives us a 45,000 pound limit. Hmm. That will take 71 days to do. And that gets us to petrol octane 55. Let's upgrade our gun. Let's go with the machine gun. 40 days. Contract number 10 for 20 tanks. Well, why didn't you just say so? Let's go to a contract. Let's check out what they would think. So they want this for the Fusilade roll. So if we were to select this, that's 870 versus the 990. So yeah, they, they just want the slug. The slug is better. Uh, what is your offer? 406. We absolutely crushed that. Um, it is currently... 10-6, so by 10-11, the contract will be officially accepted, so... Give ourselves... No, that would be 20... That would be 19 days. Uh, it would be 20 days. Nine. So that would be 29. Let's deliver 30 tanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. And then crank this up. Okay. Beautiful. All right, that'll be another $1.5 million. Let's go. All right, uh, there's not a whole lot else going on. We do need to come up with the new, uh, that new, that Commander's Capola thing. Central cab. So we'll make that out of RHA steel with the bolted assembly. Um, viewport or vision port mark two. Internal with turret hatch mark one. Okay, assign that. Take three days for them to build. 
go for the improved six pounder in my opinion uh we'll probably get there i mean at some point we're gonna get it all i mean we are at nineteen thousand of the first achievement being thirty thousand new tank the rationalized tank interesting Okay, what can we put that on, like, that commander's hatch, or whatever? It's like, say we go with a Mark V series. Oh, we'd, we'd have to actually do the thing, right? Er, no, 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 it's fine. Go with that, that's fine. Engine should be... Ooh, we need to come up with a better version of the Ricardo six-cylinder as well. Because we have the better engine, uh, like, components and stuff. So before we do, yeah, let's do that real quick. Uh, if we go to engineering. Let's do that real quick. So engines, Ricardo six-cylinder, please. We want side brakes, Mark IV, Mark IV. Mark three, Mark four, Mark four, assign it, take nine days. Go ahead and speed it up. They have accepted, so we can go ahead and ship out those tanks. So that'll be for 30 tanks. Through Wankton and Sons, ship them out. Okay, Germans and British have signed a trade agreement. New Army Corps of the Armored Cars for the Austro-Hungarians. Okay, the Ricardo 6 owner is finished. Um, I don't think there's anything new in terms of the tracks. So, let's check out coming up with a Mark II version of our slug so let's create Ricardo six cylinder Mark II. We've got the Tadpole. We do have the central cab now, so we can do that. I don't see how good it's going to do us. What is the purpose of this? Okay, well, either way, we have the male sponson Mark III. Let's put that there. Um, let's go the three pounder for now. The rear should be the Hotchkiss. Front should also be the Hotchkiss. I just don't understand why that exists. Alright, so commander, driver, gunner, mechanic. So, four people. And we need uh, a loader, so gunner has to be gunner loader. And everything else fits. The only thing is we are missing out on some operational range due to being close to the load limit. And road speed has been reduced by two also for uh, insufficient vibration dampening. All right, fair enough. AP Mark 1. 
me what how did that go in there AP mark one uh, HE mark two we have tracer ammo and armor piercing ammo and then we will go with the 050 and keep with the theme of the tan khaki brown I have a dedicated spot for a secondary commander. Can we get a can we get another person in here? I was gonna say that immediately gives us this. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. But it's fine. So the commander can either be sticking his head out of here or over here. Whichever. Yeah, we definitely don't want to add more more crew to this tank. As long as we meet the requirements, we're solid. Expendables is fine. Paint is fine. This will be the slug mark two. And a sign. Wait, what, what did we miss? We are four of seven, four of six, four of four, two of six. Ah, we need another gunner. Okay, uh, Commander, Gunner, I mean, if I do Commander, then that's going to throw that off. Okay, let's look at the crew. We have Gunner, Loader. Driver. Hmm. If we do Driver, Mechanic, and then Mechanic gunner does that get us there so that's two of four four of six two of two four of seven four of six that that gets us where we need to be all right aside slug mark two is in progress 30 days Just want to look at that again real quick. So you're oh okay. So this was literally just meant to be a commander. But wouldn't that still be a? Uh, Okay, slug mark two. Okay, there, there we go. So we'll throw that in there. But yeah, so it does the same thing. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So yeah, we can't, can't do that. It was worth a shot. Um, okay, so attribute points is 1176 versus 1254. So this is just better. Even though this has two... Let's go ahead and assign it. It'll take 30 days. Uh, I'm I'm going to be ending the stream pretty soon. I got to get ready to go to the gym here shortly. But I've been enjoying this quite a bit. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. You guys know how I get. Sometimes I just get lost in the moment and start streaming and don't stop.
All right, the contract has been completed and money is ours. You'll love to see it. Currently have one more tank to be built here to keep 30 of these Slug Mark 1s in stock. Okay, Slug Mark 1, that is the last of the Slug Mark 1s. I feel like the British are just simply not getting into wars anymore. It's almost like the, well, I, I lied. They are actually at war here. Are they using any of our tanks? They are. They are using the fourth division or the fourth battalion with 15 units of the Turd Burglar Mark 1As. What about all of our other tanks? Boy, the Mark 1A really put us on the map, didn't it? It has been battle tested for sure. Okay, how are we doing for resources? We have plenty of resources. Um, yeah, I think we're just waiting. New tank revealed. It is the saturation tank Isis MLE2. There. Austro-Hungary and German trade agreement. Armored car for Spain. Non-aggression from Albania and Portugal. Countering tank shock. Reeling from tank shock, the nation's currently fighting the Great War scramble to obtain a new category of weapon, the anti-tank gun. Impromptu efforts have led to anything from direct fire mortars to piercing bullets, and yet it is still considered insufficient. As armies around the globe develop specialized anti-tank shells for their field guns, the most promising weapon of all remains early experiments with light, dedicated anti-tank guns that could perhaps stop the armored behemoths once and for all. Fair. All right, research. We just finished the light machine gun, or the medium machine gun. Uh, do we go over anti-infantry anti rounds, or do we go for... Uh, let's go ahead and get the improved naval gun. Let's get that done. That'll take 48 days. 49 days. Okay. Uh, we should be able to test drive. Oh, we already test drove the stunk. Waiting for the um, Mark II to get finished. Okay. Slug Mark II is officially finished, so we will test drive that now. Just got to remember when we get to the bridge or the wall part, we just got to cheese it. When will I stream again? I'm not 100% sure. I kind of just stream like most of the time I tend to stream at night. So like 9 p.m. at night. But I, I know Wednesday for sure I'll be doing a World of Warships Legends stream. Uh, usually around 3 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. Um... But it really does just kind of depend on, like, how I'm feeling on the day. Are we going to aim down, please? Thank you. You little turd. Thank you. All right, let's go around.
Thank God you can cheese that. It's got really good firing angles over the uh, like left and right. It definitely needs a little bit more firing angles for uh, elevation and depression. But the gun does be—it does have the ability to sweep left and right really, really well. I will give it that. What up, Andrew? Welcome to the slug. No problem up the hill. There definitely seems to be issues with these this particular set of tracks. Like, these tracks are just like ice, man. It does not want to grip. It just, like, slides along the freaking ground. Alright, and if we go three, we should be able to shoot all these. not yeah we don't have the depression in the back all right well use the front again We'll make it work somehow. Onward! Dude, it just doesn't want to turn. It is literally like being on ice skates. They definitely need to check on uh, these tracks and see if there's an issue with their, uh, like, coefficient of friction. Because they just don't bite. It's, like, literally ice skating. Snipe. Beautiful. Alright, so the Mark II passed its test. Fair enough. Let's put it into tank trials. Any new contracts? Nothing. Let's 
7.7 centimeters, so 77 millimeter FK96. Battle of Liege. Belgium with the wire crusher type tank. And here's that message again for the no translation found. So that's the second time we've encountered this particular bug. Rival tank captured again, the tier OSP A. I would love to see it pop up in the thing, but I have a feeling it'll only be the uh, the bugged out tank that shows up. Yeah. Yep. So we have unlocked the improved the improved naval gun. So let's go back over here. Under firepower, could go for the anti-defense, which is going to or anti-infantry, which is going to take uh, 64 days. Conversely, we could go for the FHA steel route, which is going to take 159 days. I do want to kind of go for that because that will get us to the reinforced rhomboidal hull. From the mobility side, otherwise we have the enhanced high-pass running gears. Should take us uh, 71 days. Let's go ahead and do the let's let's do the land ship or the the running gears for now. We did say we wanted to focus on mobility early on, so let's try to do that. Stick to our plan. All right. All right. Um, what did we... We just finished the naval gun, so we actually got to go put it together. We also finished the small gun. So I suppose that would be a good thing to actually try to put together as well. So the 1914 series... Probably just going to be the 1914 series all the way because 847 versus 645. In terms of barrel insert, 222 versus 212. So, yeah, that's just better. In terms of this, we have 444 versus 554. So, we're definitely going with the belt fed. And then, in terms of the stock, we have 3-3, three, three, so this is just better. So yeah, all right. Uh, assign that, get that one done. That'll take just two days. Okay, Kombolcha. Are they using my tanks? 
think they are. Yep. All right. What do we got here? Same thing. Just 15 of the Turd Burglar Mark 1As. Interesting. Okay, we did finish the Hotkiss medium machine gun. So let's go ahead and do the main gun now. We have the three pounder, the six pounder, six, six C. So we're gonna go for that. All right, let's see what we got. So pivoting seat mark two is just better. Gives us a little bit better primary weapon reliability. Rate of fire stays the same. Accuracy stays the same. Does weigh a little bit more. In terms of the gun breach, we could mess around with this a little bit. Uh, we know that we have the gun breach mark two, which gives us a little bit better rate of fire. Actually, I lied. The gun breach mark three also has a seven rate of fire, but also has better gun depression and gun elevation so we're sticking with that as far as optics go how we look at we got uh, two range and three damage with two accuracy so I think we stick with that it's good optics uh, recuperator mark two is just better in every way so we'll keep that Recoil cylinder, four, four, five, four, three, five. So slightly better. And then the recoil guard, three, 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 two, two, three. Okay, so this is just going to be the best option. Okay, fair enough. Assign it, get it done. Six days. That is a big gun, to be fair. Like that does not look like it belongs in a tank. For God's sakes. What up, Mark? Welcome to the stream. To answer your question of why they named them after Norse gods, I would probably have to say that there's an old saying that if you um, if you give a or if you make a man feel immortal, he'll fight like the immortals do, right? Like so, maybe maybe that has something to do with it. All right, so 69 days until the research project's done, six days until the new naval gun has been researched. New contract for 20 more tanks of the Vanguard to equip to the 11th Battalion. Okay, um, we have 30 tanks available. And I am pretty positive that you will be willing so that's 996 versus 945 so we will be shipping this one out okay actually i lied we don't have any of the mark ii's built yet do we i better i better watch what i'm doing pretty sure that the tanks that we have built are the mark threes or the slug mark ones yeah so Slug Mark 1 is what we actually have built. So that's what we'll be using. Today is, of course, the 4th. So by the 9th, this contract should be ready to go, which means we should be able to have everything shipped out and there by, like, February. Give us a little bit. We'll go for, like, February 1st, uh, you will get 30 tanks of our Slug Mark 1s. And, of course, our competitors are certainly at 404, so we can bring this up to there. Another $1.5 million on the way soon enough. Beautiful. Uh, let's get rid of that. What up, Jackety? How's it going? 
or Jakety. I don't know if it's Jackety or Jakety, but welcome. Hello from Ohio, my guy. All right. Um, five days left there, 68 days left there. Uh, we got to wait until we get the okay from the contract. Okay, has been accepted, so we now go here, ship these out, 30 of them, uh, we'll send it through Winkington, get it done. Alright, so that's done, those are ready to go, this has been officially finished. So the next question is, now that we have the upgraded gun, the upgraded machine gun, we're currently working on RHA steel, or no, we're, we're working on enhanced high pass running gear. I kind of want to wait for that before we uh, go to the next, the next phase. We'll see how it works out. I lied. I lied. We're, we're going to go straight into a new design for the uh, slug. We'll go for the Mark III slug. That will have the improved Ricardo inline six cylinder with the Tadpole Mark I tank tracks, central cab. Sponson Mark III, armored plate. We do have this brand new naval gun, which we will be throwing in there. In terms of our secondary weapons, we do have the 1914 that we will be throwing in the rear and in the front. All right, selected crew. From a commander standpoint, we have a commander Actually, let's put the commander back there. We have gunner loader. We have driver mechanic. And then we have Mechanic Gunner. That gets us everything we need. Four out of six, two out of four, four out of eight, four out of seven, two out of two. So yes, that, that definitely fits everything that we need. Uh, we are still a little bit too heavy which is unfortunate. So minus two points there and minus three points here. Overloaded driver. Unfortunate, but I don't really have a choice, Mr. Driver. You'll get over it. All right, expendables. AP, HE. Um, we have tracer and armor piercing, petrol, paint, khaki, slug mark three, assign, 31 days. So 12 days, 22 days. Okay. Fifteen pounder gun? Holy crap. 
Seven day deliver. Ooh, that's cutting it real close. Okay. See, even with the delay, we ended up with uh, three days extra to get them delivered on time. Okay. So say, I think we've already done that. All right. Sweden and Norway. Contract has been completed, officially. We're up to almost $5 million. Love it. Keep going. Italy is now in the tank race. Despite countless delays that fit 2,000 heavy tanks, the Fiat 2000 heavy tank has finally seen its first test today. Um, in front of Italian officers, inspired by studies of the Renault FT, it has many innovative features such as an enclosed engine, spacious interior, and turret-mounted 65mm gun. It is a hulking vehicle of more than 40 tons, yet trials have shown it as robust. It is doubtful that Italy, with mountain warfare a priority in the state of their industry, will place an order Regardless, it may become an inspiration for other countries. That is that is actually a uh, legitimately a legitimate concern. Okay. Heavy artillery to Greece. Ottomans and Bulgaria. Sweden and Norway. Okay, that's done. Slug Mark Three, go ahead and enter your trials, please. I kind of want to hear this new gunfire, ain't gonna lie. Probably sounds exactly like the old gun firing, but still. Big new boom. Beautiful. All right, time for the big gun. Primary weapon. Rotate the tank. Fire! Woo! That was a little bit bigger boom. Not much, but it was a bigger boom. Seemed louder anyway. Imagine if that ricochet had bounced off and slapped me. What up, Noriko? Hmm. 
We're making progress, man. Slowly but surely. We've come a long way since the turd burglar Mark 1A. Some would argue that it's not the right way. But I say they're wrong. It's a fantastic tank that we have designed here. I say as the tracks refuse to like actually grip this freaking surface. What is it with these tracks, man? It's just something about these tracks that just does not like the freaking friction. You can see, we're kind of like glitched into the ground a little bit here. It's a little awkward. Dude, it, it does not want to turn. See how the, the tracks are like glitching into the dirt? I feel like that has something to do with it. <laughs> we never had trouble before. Go, tank, go! Weird. All right. Can we actually use the rear turret? We can't aim down. Oh God, mistakes were made. Have I done this? Turn around, use the front. you little turd like I said it's not the tanks fault it's these tracks these tracks are something like there is something seriously wrong with these tracks Because they, they don't like... It's not like they're going over the terrain. They're, they're just like crashing into the terrain. Like there's no reason that this thing should be struggling to go up this little hill. Find your way, tank. There you go. You'll get there eventually. Oh shit. I got I got to go to the gym, guys. I've lost track of time. It's it's quarter after 6. Holy crap. Hurry up, Spartan, finish. Why do I use shitty tracks? Because these shitty tracks have the best uh like maximum weight capacity so we can have more good things. Make sense? Without having the penalties. Here we go. All right. So the Mark III is officially gone through its paces. We will go ahead and uh, go to the pro or the testing grounds. Get that thing tested, please. Beautiful. Contracts wise, we don't have anything new at the moment. But, uh, all right, guys, I got to go. 
I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. It's been uh, six and a half hours of streaming, and it is currently quarter after six, and I have to be at the gym in 16 minutes. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoyed this as much as I do, please let me know down in the comments below. Punch that like button for me, and we will definitely be doing more of this because we have a long ways to go in this campaign. So thank you guys, and if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Also, uh, congrats, Killer Nick. Appreciate you.